Well, welcome to our weekly hangout. Tonight's topic is going to be tablet computing, and of course, we are joined by my cousin and the esteemed CEO of Ethereal Technology, Corey Spearman. Welcome back, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Good to be back. Good to be back. Um, I watched the videos for the last couple of weeks. You did an excellent job, I must say, holding it down. So, well, it's glad to be, I'm glad to be back. It's, uh, this has become kind of part of the life, if you will. So, this a lot of fun. Part. Yeah, a lot of fun. So, tonight should be good. Tablet computers, I mean, that's, that's big. That's, that's like the now. So, this should be an awesome show. So... I, I'm I'm ha This is one of the shows I've been looking forward to doing. So obviously, this is kind of the future. So can't wait to get started. Oh yeah, but as, as always, before we uh, really get hard into everything, we should go over some of the the news for the week. And I know you mentioned uh, something uh, you know very significant of this being the anniversary of uh, Steve's death. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It is the uh, the anniversary of Steve Jobs' death. He died last year, today. Um, and, you know, oddly, it's one of those things where it's like um, he's gone, but it's not like he's – it's almost like he's still here, you know. It's weird um, with Apple. You, you, you feel some changes. But it's almost like the ghost of Steve Jobs is running Apple still, which is, you know, strange that someone can have that type of effect even after that. But I have to say this, though, and, and you, you, can, you can correct me on this if you, if you, you, know, you have a different opinion, but I don't, I'm not sure Steve Jobs would have been happy with how I um, – iPhone 5 was released. I'm not sure if you've been terribly happy about it. I, I think that there are things that he would have, uh, you know, that he would have liked, uh, the, the seeing his, uh, uh, his vision come into fruition, yet there's still some other, you know, some other things. I mean, this is the first time that I can remember, and, you know, you're, you're more of an Apple person than I am. I'm you know, more of a X Windows, more Linux, but the thing that kind of caught my attention more than anything else was that in in the past they had all these speculations on here's what the iPhone's gonna look like. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time that they were right. Then on. And, and I think that Steve Jobs would have flipped in his grave for over that one. Yeah. That, that was, that's part of part of his whole thing. Yeah, he was big on the secrecy, uh, big on keeping everything close to the vest, you know, not letting competition know what you're going to do. Um, it was part of Apple's marketing strategy for many, many years to just keep everything hush um, and let the rumor mill kind of carry the momentum of the product. But this time, the rumor mill, it, they weren't rumors. You know, they put out pictures of the iPhone, and they were dead on. Um, you know, everything. They almost got everything right. The lack of NFC, the, you know, the whole thing. Um, I don't know. Something, something went awry this time. Yeah, well, there was a lot that went awry. Um, but then, you know, kind of... Speaking and, and moving forward, just a, a touch, and still sticking with uh, uh, Apple. What uh, what are your thoughts on this uh, new MacBook Pro that's supposed to be coming out? That's priced at about three and a half grand. Um. Here, uh, here's the deal. Um, the MacBook Pro is not new. Um, it's been around now for a few years. Um. It is basically a modified, hacked up MacBook Pro that is done by a third party. Um, 
but here's the deal. Um, it uses a Wacom screen or Wacom screen or whatever. Um, it, I've seen one a couple of years ago. Um, a colleague of mine had one. He loved it. Um, number one is overpriced. I mean, it. You know, come on. You, you can't have. No, no one's gonna pay three thousand dollars for a tablet that runs OS ten. Um, and when I say no one, I mean someone's gonna do it, but a very small section of people. I mean, just not a. There's, there's not gonna be a huge um, market for it. But there is a market, a very small niche market of you know high end, uh, maybe designers, uh, things that sort artists. Um, they may spring for it. Um, the only thing, one of the tremendous upsides of it is because it is a modified uh, MacBook Pro is it will run OS 10 in all its fullness and it's also going to be able to run Windows in all its fullness or Linux or whatever else you decide to put on it. So I mean that's the only thing that you know you want a Windows 8 tablet that also can run uh, OS 10 or OS 10 tablet that can also run Windows 8 or Windows 7, this would be a deal. But you're going to pay a premium for it, a huge premium. So for that reason alone, you know, it's a it's an anomaly. It's going to be a great oddity out there in the market, but, you know, you're not going to see too many of them around. <laughs> it's just not, <laughs> you know. I mean, you know. Well, for the, for the price, I would tend to agree with you. <laughs> So, because uh, uh, I can pretty much tell you for the price, I won't have one. I, yeah, yeah, it, it, you know, it's it's not in my future. <laughs> you know, even if I had three grand to just blow, I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. If I had three grand, I'd probably see if I could get two MacBook Pros with like maybe Retina display or a MacBook Pro and something else. You not, know, for, for that. Definitely. You know, I mean, but this is basically what you would be getting, though. You would be getting probably, there will probably be a version of the Retina Display MacBook Pro modded up and keyboard hacked off and turned into a tablet. Now, it's I wouldn't be <laughs> more for that price. I, yeah, exactly. I don't want my MacBook Pro hacked up. I don't want somebody to take a hacksaw to it and, no, I don't, you know, come on. Um, it's a it's an odd product because honestly, it's just one of those things that you know. Seriously, you're paying someone to destroy a perfectly good product and modify it. You know, for you know, it, it's it's like taking a Bugatti or a, a Maybach and, and you're know, cutting the top on it. You know, <laughs> you know, somebody's probably gonna want it. Get that fresh air feel of that convertible. You take some of the functionality out of it but right. you know yeah I, I imagine somebody will you know I, I do imagine it's gonna happen somebody will do it um, it won't be me <laughs> you know just it will not be me that's all I can tell you I, you know but um I you know well, that's it and still kind of in the Mac Apple world um, mm -hmm. The, the fact that Camera Plus has become one of the first uh, third-party apps that support, you know, the iPhone 5's low-res uh, mode in the camera. I think it's actually because, you know, and that's the other thing uh, with the iPhone 5 and the new iOS that not all the apps uh, that worked on the, the pre iOS. iOS. <laughs> Hold on, people. <laughs> What's up, Charles? <laughs> I'm oh, really no. okay. okay, I just started to hear a noise. What? Like, okay. Yeah, we just heard a noise come in. The noise came in before you did. So it was like, okay. <laughs> well, hold on. I'll show you where I am. Hold on. I'm thinking you guys will be able to recognize this from the back of this hotel. Vegas someplace? You in Vegas? What? You in Vegas? Yes, sir. 
Was that the Luxor? No, uh, New York, New York. Oh, New York, New York, okay. I just saw the lights. I was like, he's in Vegas someplace. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you just hear the noise and the lights. It's like, okay, it's Vegas, but where? Yeah. Well, I will check in later. I just wanted to drop in and say hi. I think last week I was in California, so. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're never going back home. I figured that out. You've run away. <laughs> I'm going back home. I'm going back home. Just not for a while. <laughs> Next week, I will be in San Francisco. Nice. Like I said, you're not going home. <laughs> I am going home. Just no time soon. <laughs> we'll check back in and, uh, on the Charles, Charles Tindall on the world, the Charles Tindall world tour. So, <laughs> oh, last week, he, he, caught, he checked in last week from his class. Yep, I was in a class last week. Excuse me, I have to go chat. He's probably sitting in front of his class going, hi, and they're looking like, what the hell? <laughs> so we can start a new game every week. Where, where's Charles? Yeah, that's what you we're going to do. Where's just Charles? Just pop in from anywhere. You know, where's Charles? And you just pop in. Yeah, you know, like you in France. It. You know, make yeah, a top nine with Tyler. Game? Here is Carmen San Diego. <laughs> yeah, what we're going to do is like, where is Charles Tyndall? <laughs> That's how it's gonna work. I'm just gonna pop up from now on, and from now on, what I'm gonna do is when I show up in the in the in the, uh, in the hangout, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show my location. There you go. Be standing. He's gonna pop up and just show you the environment. Be like, look, this is where I am. <laughs> yeah, look, ah, here's where I am. Okay, bye. See ya. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna have to make you a correspondent. You know, uh, where's Charles? We're gonna, <laughs> Charles should be popping in any moment here. Uh, and right. he's, he's liable, and then there's no telling where he, where, where actually he's gonna be. That's the interesting thing about I it. Right. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know he was on the uh, Charles Tindall World Tour. I didn't know that. See, I, yeah, I yeah, too long. yeah, he did his uh, his ethical training class on your know, training ethical hackers last week, and he nice. checked in. And uh, now he's in Vegas. Don't know what he's doing in Vegas, but hey. Yeah. Um, but you know, like I was saying earlier. Um, you had the, you know, the the camera plus uh, just being approved for the, uh, you know, for the new um, iPhone five and the iOS six, mm -hmm. um, and and see that's the other thing, and uh, I think I posted instructions on our fan page telling people how to upgrade from the iPhone from the iOS five to iOS six uh, in detail, mm -hmm. but. People also need to understand that not all of their apps that they currently have right now may work in six. That so yeah. you know, they, they all, they, you, you need to actually check to make sure if you're worried about that, you need to check and make sure before you do the upgrade. Yeah, that is correct. Um, I upgraded my mother's phone to iOS six. Um, probably the easiest upgrade ever. You know, it's just really does everything. All you got to do is click upgrade. Um, not too many apps. I didn't have problems with too many apps. Actually, any apps I can think of. Um, but then right after I upgraded her, she got the new iPhone 5, of course. So and, uh, I've spent spent some time with the iPhone 5 and um, come up with some of my own conclusions about it. Uh, number one, again, Apple nailed the engineering on it. I mean, incredibly engineered phone. I mean, just, I have to say this about their products. Nothing else feels or looks like an iOS 5. You know, you have better phones out there, but you don't have any better built phones out there <laughs> than what you're going to get from that Apple. Is, I guess I had mixed feelings on it because I, mm -hmm. I, I looked and I, I played with it. Now, I will admit, very responsive in a whole lot of things, but the mm -hmm. first thing that caught my mind is even with, you know, my droid, is I looked at my screen, mm -hmm. and then I looked at the screen of the new iOS, you know, of the new iPhone, and I was like, okay, your screen is as tall as mine now, but it's still not as wide as mine. Right, and that was done on purpose. Yeah. Um, one of the things that, yeah, 
you know, I have I have kind of mixed feelings about that too. And it looks like we got Lee checking in from an unknown location. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, Lee's I mean, doing one of my numbers from the early days. <laughs> Yeah, except the internet works at my house. I just wanted to get something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so, and we we just had Charles check in from um, Vegas. New York, New York in Vegas. So he Vegas. Was, yeah, he was at the uh, New York, New York hotel in Vegas. So he checked in momentarily. You know, brought brought a little Vegas to the broadcast, and it looks like. You know, Lee's out on on a stroll yeah, of some Lee's sort. Like you know, rolling around some some place <laughs> in the upstate. Wait a minute, hey Lionel, who's who, who's that other guy in chat with us? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the son has returned. What can I say? <laughs> he he came he came back for for a few minutes to make a cameo. Yeah. Oh, okay. all right. Is that what it is? Yeah, I'm he's back, making a, I'm back he's from my world too. Cameo. You know. I, I, I didn't break tell you my story. My, well, my primary job, I'm a rock star, you know, I, I tour the world, you know, and this is what I do part-time. So, you know, I'm back from my world tour, you know. Are yeah. we uh, Are we broadcasting yet? Yeah, yeah. we are. Okay, then I'll, yeah, I won't comment on the world tour, world tour. I'll talk to you about that later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, and and uh, you know Lee actually gave me uh, he threw me a bone last week. Uh, the the upcoming Upstate Linux meeting is going to be at his office is in Char at Sharp, so I get to see that big. What is that thing? Uh, is that an eighty or a ninety inch that you got there, Lee? In the conference room, it's an eighty inch touch screen. Turn that down, please. And uh, we've also got the seventy inch in the showroom plus the hundred twenty inch video wall. Now the 120 inch video wall is the the one I would want to see. I mean that thing has to be incredible. I want to see the like the the big one in the conference. Yeah, you know, it's like I I might just put a, a freaking. I don't know if Lee wants me to go into his offices because I might put a cot in there and basically go. I, I'm living here. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. Now you might my boss might come in and security, uh, security may have a problem with that. I don't know. He kind of acts as security too, and uh, he's he's one of the few people on earth I would not want to get into a scuffle with. <laughs> Your boss is a tough guy, huh? <laughs> he, well, he's not small. Oh, okay. All right. So, where are you, Lee? We see darkness. We see streets. All um, right. I see a speed, you know, a sign coming up. Uh. I think we lost Lee. You locked up? Yeah, I think we lost Lee. So maybe yeah, Lee will check back with you. That's, the, that's the, the wonderful thing about that 3G, 4G is it just drops. Well, he may have went from 4G territory right yeah. into 2, 2G territory. Who knows? So All right, he's back. Like he's back. So Lee, is, is this safe? Is this, is this safe, Lee? <laughs> oh yeah, no, I've got the I've got the camera in the windshield cradle with the with the foot the uh, rear camera facing the road. Both hands are on the wheel. All right, all right, okay. You know. Yeah, he's giving us he, he's basically giving us the 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 tour of the fact that Lee lives in the middle of nowhere. Uh, apparently, South Carolina is a bunch of big empty space. I live in the middle <laughs> of the city. I just know how to use the back roads. All right, so Lee is giving us a tour of the back roads. Spencer wants to say hey. Hi. Hi, how are you, Spencer? How are you doing? Good. So how, how are you enjoying riding around with your dad? It's boring. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it boring? Uh, I don't know, I'm bored, but I got some play on. He's got his Kindle, so he's happy. Yep. All right. So what would you rather be doing than spending time with your dad? Huh? What would you rather, what would you be do? What, what, if you weren't with your dad, what would you be doing right now? Playing video games. Isn't it more fun to be with your dad than playing video games? Mmm. Dangerous question. Yeah, dad's boring, apparently. No, it's not just me. 
Lionel Brokaw with the hard hitting questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, kind of going on, you know, I, I had mentioned this earlier uh, to you that that the LG, uh, the quad core LG Optimus, right now headed yes. over to uh, Sprint and AT and T. Yeah, and we're finally going to get a quad core in the U.S. We're going to get a quad core in the new in the U.S. And there is a second version coming out called the LG Optimus G Nexus. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, LG is getting the new Nexus. And it will be a quad core. And guess what? It will be running 4.2, which is yet unnamed. We don't even know what they're calling 4.2 yet. We know it will be some sort of sugary snack, but which one we don't know. So... Yeah, they're and it, running out of sweet names too. That's I wonder what they're gonna call this one. Chocolate? Chocolate, you know, <laughs> you know I don't I don't I don't know. You know, it's those those goofy people over at Google, they're gonna come up with something good, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, Maybe I, donut. I, I probably shouldn't say anything, so if, if this turns out true, you didn't hear it from me. Uh-huh. But for some reason, the name licorice is ringing in my ears. Licorice. So we're going to have possibly Android licorice. Um, that's the buzz on the internet now, you know. Right. The buzz on the internet is, but. I heard donut at one time. I did hear donut. But somebody said that was five. Five was going to be donut. I, I have no, we, of course, we have no idea where these names come from. Or, or who starts these rumors? That one that just sounds too plain to me. Yeah, maybe you know, butter uh, buttermilk donut. I don't know. Maybe you know <laughs> they're gonna dress it up some type of way. I don't know. But licorice, I'm gonna have to look that up. But how about this? So 4.2, we'll get we'll begin a preview of 4.2 in November apparently on the new LG. Optimus G Nexus, whatever, which is a very long name. Um, so here we are again. Google is releasing another version of an operating system, and most people are still running Gingerbread. Uh, yeah. Which is still kind of over fifty percent, and I and I would still if I hadn't have rooted my phone, I'd still be running Gingerbread. Yeah, and and you, and they're still selling phones and tablets with Gingerbread on them. Yes, no. they are. Yes, they are. So the new numbers, and I think we lost. Uh, we lost. Well, uh, yeah, he'll be back when he gets home. Back. Right. Uh, the new numbers is something like fifty-three percent. Of uh, users are are running gingerbread still, and twenty three percent are running ICS, and then there's a other, <laughs> like the rest are other, so they're running some some version. You know, there's some jelly bean in there, but jelly bean's penetration rate is less than I think three percent or something like that. Um, I just jumped back in real quick to let you know I'm going to the house. I'll be back on in a second. All right. Yeah, but, you know, that's that's actually kind of crazy that they're selling new tablets and phones still running, um, you know, gingerbread. But, you know, speaking of, of kind of crazy, we I bring this up because we've mentioned it before, is um, especially Shanice when she's on, because she was addicted to it at one time, that, you know, Zynga. Yes. You know, Zynga lost money. Zynga is failing, is the new word, which is an old word. <laughs> um, I mean, it's pretty official at this point in time that Zynga is kind of a bust. The shares are down to, what, $2.38 or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, tech crunch. Uh you know, which we, we, we feel pretty highly about TechCrunch. Uh, TechCrunch is calling them a failure, uh, uncategorical failure. Um, 
I think it's a little early still to call the company a failure at this point in time. I mean, Zynga is still a profitable company, but for some strange reason, it is not translating to be an IPO. I don't know why that is. I don't know the financials behind this situation. Um, you know, I, I honestly, I don't know why they're failing. You know, maybe you can enlighten me because I don't know. I don't play games, so I couldn't even begin to tell you. So it had no appeal to me anyway. So, you know, whether they make it big or not, yeah, hmm. Yeah, you know, but since we're kind of like on the, you know, we jumped from, I'll jump back to, you know, Google real quick, you know, not Droid, but this is actually dealing with uh, the Google Maps. You see that they uh, was just opened their um, API to allow people to use the, the real-time traffic part and that kind of stuff for their maps. I did not know that. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. All right. All right. No problem. No, I didn't I didn't know about that. Um so so they've opened up the real time traffic API. Yeah. That's gonna be huge. Um that's one of the one features that, that you know, the kind of the killer GPS feature right now is you know, GPS is is it is it, it's, it's there, you know, kind of mature. Mm -hmm. But every you know, every application that you use doesn't have real-time traffic. And that's kind of the killer feature that we all want and need. You know, it's one thing to know where you're going, but it's a whole other thing to know what your problems are going to be before you get there. Mm -hmm. So I think that's awesome. I mean, honestly, um, I'm hoping developers make use of that because, you know, right now there's no doubt Google is top of the maps game. Um, Google is top, but then I was reading something earlier that reminded me of something that I had totally forgotten and just kind of, I guess, obscured it in my head, is mm -hmm. that Nokia also does maps. Nokia does do, does map. They do do maps. And by the way, there a lot of people say their maps that are on the new Windows phones are awesome. Mm -hmm. Personally, I haven't, I haven't used it. So it's, it's one of those things that I hear that they have a great set of maps and they've done a wonderful job with it and you know it works really well on the Windows 8 platform, uh, Windows mm -hmm. Phone platform. Personally, I just haven't used it, so I can't really say myself. Uh, but speaking of maps, while we're talking about it, um, Apple pushed out their updates today um, for their map programs, uh, for their map apps. Um, obviously, a lot has been said about <laughs> the um, Apple Maps apps. Um, I've had a chance to play with it. I've used it. And I'm going to say this. You know, just from using it, and, and I, I'm, I'm going to say that one thing about a, a map app, if you will, is your issues are going to vary depending on where you are. Okay, obviously there seems to be some issues in lo certain locations, uh, people getting bad directions, things of that sort. I have not run into that problem um, using oh, that. Uh, oh, is bad. oh, my goodness. Is, is it Christmas? No, I, no, is it Christmas? I bow. <laughs> I mean, what, what's no, going on I, today? I had like, some free time. I didn't take your pulse. I didn't know. Uh, you, you're, you're alive. <laughs> I had some time. Hey, hey, I thought I stopped here. This is like the this is like the show for ghosts this week. It's Seriously, like, all the ghosts of the past have come back. Hangout paths are all showing up. <laughs> so you probably wonder what we're talking about, but well, yeah. I was kind of I was kind of watching in the the stream. Okay. All right. Well, you, you you probably saw Charles pop in from Vegas, uh, yeah, beautiful yeah. Las Vegas, and then you know we had Lee pop in from. Uh, Nowhereville. We don't even know where he was, but right. somewhere in the upstate. Somewhere, yeah. you know, somewhere where you drive when you want to get rid of people. That's all I know. That's what it looked <laughs> like to me. Um, <laughs> you know, and and, 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 and then to, to go on, since since you brought up Microsoft, this actually is a good segue into the the next little piece of news. 
of you know Microsoft lost this last uh, lawsuit against um, you know where they were basically citing infringement against uh, you know their um, their platform and their software you mm -hmm. know against uh, Google for designing I, anything else and they actually lost this last lawsuit okay I, you know I didn't even know that was still going on I, I honestly yeah, thought it was they actually lost this last patent suit okay that was the the one for in Germany yeah yeah, yeah. okay Okay. Uh, you know, Microsoft doesn't lose often, you know, uh, because even you brought out the the, the point, uh, Corey, that a lot of people don't realize that most uh, Android manufacturers pay a license to um, Microsoft. Microsoft makes yeah. money off of Android. Every single handset, isn't that? Every yeah. handset, just about. Yeah. That's crazy. You know, Absolutely. and and there's a, and in this case, they're probably mad because they actually lost one. <laughs> and that's you know, we spent all this money and we still lost. Uh, uh, you know, I'm sure it's a drop in the bucket for Microsoft. Not you know, no no sweat off their back too much. I don't think. Oh, they'll try it again. I'm, I'm sure. sure. They, they will. I mean, it, I don't know. It must be the season to sue or something. But you know, it seems like it's it's just the end thing to do right now is to take people to court over patents and you know those types. Oh, well, there's that. Just like um, uh, what is it? Apple went after Samsung. Mm -hmm. And now Samsung's gonna go over at to, uh, after Apple for the they voice LTE. They officially filed last Friday um, against Apple uh, for infringement, uh, citing uh, LTE as the primary um, violation, if you will. Hmm. Um, LTE is weird the way it's it's, it's kind of sectioned up. Um, it is not one congruent entity in certain companies hold certain percentages of the patents of LTE. Yeah. Um, Apple does actually own a percentage of, of, of LTE patents, but Samsung owns a bigger percentage. Right. And I think... Uh, I've had like 2,000 patents or something before. It, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. The thing that we call LTE is just, it's a hodgepodge of stuff. Yeah. It's gumbo. <laughs> you know, hey, the I, I got a patent on the sausage, I got crazy a for technology. On the price. You know, it's crazy. It, I don't know how they figure this stuff out, honestly. I, I really don't. It's it's a mess. It's a very messy situation. I think Nokia is in there too. Nokia has a a, a bunch of uh, a, a huge. Uh, I think they have the largest percentage of the LTE patents. Now, here's the the crazy, amazing thing about this. Um, we didn't mention not one carrier who has a patent percentage. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, where's Verizon in this? Where is Sprint? Where's you know, <laughs> what's what happened here? I don't even I don't understand this at all. It's crazy, right? Right. Yeah, it is. It's very right. crazy. But um, real quick, man, I did want to go back to when we were talking about um, we were talking briefly about um. Android and the new Android OS that's coming out or being that's going to be previewed. Um, briefly today, Motorola announced, and, and we have to do this when we say Motorola now, Motorola, <laughs> uh, quotations, Google announced today that those Motorola phones that they said, oh, we're going to get Jelly Bean, well, they're not. <laughs> As a matter of fact, no more Motorola phones will be getting Jelly Bean unless, of, of course, uh, except for the ones that will be released from here on. Wow. Yeah. Um, not only that, Motorola also announced today that they are dropping their entire Atrix line. Um, the Atrix and that technology of using your cell phone as the CPU. Right. In other devices, such as tablets, such as, you know, or, you know, your TV or whatever. Uh, <laughs> Motorola cited that they were not making enough money off of that and tying up too much resources, even though it's a great technology. Oh, man. We're going to let it go. Well, but see, I think that that, I think what they started worrying, and, the, and what I'm going to say, I'm going to qualify as opinion only. Mm-hmm. 
I think the reason behind that is actually they're citing that, but I think the reason behind it is that they can't really touch what Azus is doing. Uh, which, is, which is interesting because Azus is not selling very well either. Well, um, no, they're not selling very well, but I mean that pad phone is, if I could get my hands on that thing. It's an awesome technology, but it's not even over here. We, we, yeah. yeah, I mean it's just it's in Taiwan right now. And it's like if I could get over there and get one, I'd bring it back here. Just to, you uh, know. Yeah, but the the transformers are are, uh, are they're awesome. yeah, they're definitely they're selling. They're like the the on the Android side anyway are the best selling uh, tablets. That's what we thought. Really? Actually, the Kindle Fire is the top selling Android tablet, followed mm -hmm. by the Nexus Seven. Well, because they're they're affordable. Well, that's I'm thinking that's because they're easiest to get into. Oh well, yeah, they're they're they're, yeah, they're they're affordable. But I mean, it's like that pad phone where you take your your phone and you dock it to your tablet and just go on and on. I mean, that sucker's bad. It is bad, but it's it's actually the same technology that the Atrix had. Yeah. Um, and the Atrix has been out now. This is they had their second generation phone, so it's been around for almost three four years now. With that same technology, well, they've got. Um, well, the, the latest they had the Atrix HD, right? The the latest, was, yeah, right? The, but that doesn't have the dock. That doesn't have the web dock, does it? Yeah, the, the web, web dock. The, the uh, what is it? Web top. Web top. Yeah, web top. Web, web top. Yeah. That's the tech. They're ditching web top totally. Wow. Gone. As far as the being able to stick it in something. Or? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, and see, that's what I liked about Asus because you take it and you dock it with your tablet, and then it becomes a tablet, and then you basically connect it to the keyboard, and it basically becomes a, a netbook. Yeah. You know, and is. and there is software that when you have it docked, that's designed for tablet that'll run on tablet, but won't run. Um, you know, when you use it, it's just cool. I like it. See, it takes you down. I, I, I must say, I like it too. I mean, I really, really like it. I would like it more if it was available here in the U.S. Right, right. And I wouldn't have to actually fly to Taiwan or go through some hack website to get my hands on one. Mm -hmm. um, but I think there's also something to be said for why they haven't released it over here in the U.S. I think they've seen uh, the problems with uh, the Atrix line not being able to sell very well. Um, even their own Transformer line, which by all accounts, geeks love, we love it, we think they're awesome line, but outside of us, they haven't sold very well. Well, but you're, you remember what, you, uh, months ago when we did our interview with uh, Lotte, mm -hmm. he actually brought up a point that while Americans are good at innovating things, mm -hmm. They're very slow at adopting the adoption. I would agree. I would definitely yeah, agree. It's like we might innovate, we might invent stuff, but then we invent it and don't use it. You know, it's it's crazy. I would agree. Um, I got We got to put some of this on um, on Motorola though. They've done a terrible job at marketing this particular technology. Um, Look, another one. Whoa, <laughs> another ghost from the past. Oh my! Uh, what's happening here today? Uh, and, uh, uh, and where uh, are you? People are showing up Actually, today. Hey, hey, hey! Where I am stateside right now. Oh, oh you're back goodness! In the US. Oh, you yeah. were in China the last time we saw you, right? Yeah, I, I, I got man. here. <laughs> I got here Saturday. Okay. Yeah, I'll be here in January. Then I'm gonna head back out. Well, welcome That's back. Fun. Thank you. Welcome back. And, and, and I'm you glad they let you back in the States. I'm glad they did. I'm glad they did. If they knew who they had, they may not have done that. Uh, all right. They only knew. Why would they not let me back in the States? <laughs> well, good to have you back. Good to have you back. Thank wow. you. Yeah, while, while, while we're talking about, you know, missteps and, and mistakes and that kind of stuff, of course, we can't uh -huh. leave out my space. My yeah. I never even fooled yeah. with my That was well. I got a, I got another. I guess another point on the the whole. The, I guess the tablets. Go for it. Um, I think that. Well, you know we're, that the whole ten ten inch tablet deal. Mm -hmm. That whole 
I think Google needs to do the same thing they've done for the seven inch tablet as far as releasing the Nexus. There is an order. There is a rumor of in, in as a matter of fact, an event in November that is going to we did we just spoke about the new Lexus Nexus Lexus. Okay. L G <laughs> Optimus Nexus G. Yeah. Or G Nexus. Yeah. But basically it is the next version of Nexus. It's gonna be uh, premiering in November uh, with a quad core processor and running Android 4.2 miscellaneous uh, sugary snack name insert here. What's the difference between <laughs> what was just released though as far as the uh, the LG G Optimus, isn't it? Isn't there a there's a there's a G there's a G Optimus and a G Optimus. <laughs> okay. So yeah, there's two versions of the phone coming out. So there's a G Optimus and the and the and the Optimus Nexus or the G Nexus. Oh. Which, That's just gonna be which a, will be a Nexus phone. Right. right. It'll be the new Nexus phone. Okay. Oh. Getting a little confusing, isn't it? Yeah. That's that's... Funny, right? Oh, but the reason I said that is because there's also a rumor that's been going on for, for a few months here that there's gonna be a ten point one version of the uh, Nexus tablet coming out. Well they need to do something to to flood that market, I guess. To to what to have people you know, grab onto that market as far as I, you know, I, I, I agree. From the Android side, it's 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 not good. It's, right. it's not as good as it could Man, be. I don't, I don't even I don't even mess with my Galaxy Tab Ten. It's well, just we're gonna we're gonna get into that later. We're gonna get into why you don't mess with your. <laughs> I'm gonna say we're gonna wrap up the news. Let's acknowledge that Shanice has uh, joined us. We have been uh, joined by the great one, uh, Shanice, over there. <laughs> You miss all the ghosts. You miss all the ghosts. I mean, I know. cameos have been left and right here. You know, <laughs> they'll be back, I'm sure. So we were in the middle of the news. Uh, Lionel, what you got? What you got next? Well, no, I was basically say, you know, mentioning because we can't not mention it since we're talking about missteps and mistakes because of what it used to be in the whole MySpace redesign. Uh, what you think about it? It's it's interesting. It's nice and it's fresh. Um, if it'll become what it was again, I don't know. Do we want it to become what it was again? <laughs> no, they need to let it die. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's the ultimate question. What do we want it to become or do we want it at all? I don't know. I mean, seriously. Uh, well, I know on, well, on Chrome, it comes up as a flagged site. <laughs> as far as <laughs> he's, I mean, he's talking about, it looks nice. I'm like, man, this looks Geo Cities. Oh, um, the new the new version is not up yet. You have to watch it. There's a video uh, oh, okay. on YouTube showing uh, the new version of MySpace. Mm. Okay, this does look better. I, I've just loaded it anyway. But I was about to say, it kind of looks. Did like you actually you actually able to bring up the new version? Uh, I think so. I don't. I haven't been on it in a long time. I don't think anybody has. This is like ghost town. <laughs> I, 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 I looked at it and I was like, uh, "Okay, that's cool. That's different." One second. Is, I think once you, once, once you lose a, a user base like that, I don't think there's any getting that back. I think it's just trying to move. I mean. Start off with something different. I don't think you can bring back no. something from the past. No, no, no. I mean, in, in technology, I think everything has been a rehash, remix of something in the past. I don't know why they can't bring it back, but so I don't think I'm gonna ever go back to my space. I didn't like it when I was over there. Thank you. Right. Yeah, it's just, when people want somewhere to go to, they'll <coughs> go anywhere, even if it's somewhere that they've been before. So you so, think we'll, we'll go back just to check it out, maybe, and yeah, get your especially account? if the, what they're trying to get away from right now isn't there, and it's right. a lot of younger people that will probably check it out. I think. Yeah, you might be right. You might be a hundred percent right. Well, you know, do you have anything else you want to bring up there, Corey? Um. One second. You, you guys chat amongst yourselves. Are you chatting? <laughs> okay. He's he's uh basically got the going on with the 
with the kids thing. Uh, my screen share, because I tried to do something to, to prep, and my screen share is not working, which kind of sucks. But I, I put it in I put it in a event thing, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in the chat, because I think before we really get into tablets, this video that I just put in chat, um, and as a matter of fact, if you have YouTube, I'll put it on the, in the YouTube, and yeah. you should be able to see it there. Yeah, that. Uh, Can't hear you. Okay, now you got to see that, and the interesting thing about that video is it kind of made the argument before we kind of get into modern day tablets and, um, and the fact that Rand, which surprised me that Rand actually made the first, quote unquote, one of the first tablets, was the fact that I, it had never occurred to me of things like the Rosetta Stone or even writing on walls at the whole concept of, you know, even what tablet computing was about is kind of, and even though it was a marketing ploy, it's kind of an interesting thought that tablet computing is in a way kind of thousands of year, years old. In a matter of speaking, until it, it never, I had never had that thought until I saw that marketing video. Hmm. As you think about mm -hmm. tablets, think about the iPhones, you think about the um, Android tablets and all the modern incarnations, the Simons, you know, but you don't think about the old stones. I mean, not getting religious, but even the Ten Commandments, you know, two stone tablets that you're walking around with that somebody wrote information on to share. Mm -hmm. You know. I'm going to share this with my students because we were talking about this earlier. I showed the video um, with ancient civilizations and I showed my students cuneiform in Sumeria. So this is um, this is really good information for them. Yeah, and see it kind of leads into uh, you have your video that you did you find the one that you wanted to share Corey? I was not able to actually track down the video. There's an audio out there, um, but the audio is long. It's not marked. Um, but the video uh, was of it was from Steve Jobs uh, from 1983, and he actually predicted the iPad in 1983. He went over the actual specs, dimensions, how it would be used, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it, I'll put a link up later. Uh, to the audio, um, he actually spoke about it a few times, um, kind of like <coughs> marketing tour around that time, and he spoke about it a few times in that period. Um, but yeah, I, I was not able to get my hands on the video, but it is out there and around somewhere, and if I am able to track it down, I will put a link to it. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll probably put a link to the audio clip out there of him, of the actual interview with 
Walt uh, Mossberg uh, back then. Um, speaking of Steve Jobs, today is the anniversary of Steve Jobs' death. So um, very interesting that we today we decided to talk about tablets. Um, I have some very interesting concepts that I think about um, the tablet world and the tablet market and where it's going. But I, I wanted to get a quick, quick concept or idea of how many owners, how many of you guys own tablets out there uh, just in the panel right now. So, Alonzo, you know, Shanice, Lee, all right, just by everybody, okay. Uh, Mr. Spearman, yeah, what do you think? And then somebody decided to borrow it from me, but you know how that goes. Right, right, okay. So, um, Lion, you spoke a little bit about the history of, of the tablet, and we, we was watching a video earlier. Um, the one that you just uh, premiered, basically. Um, did they not leave out a section between, like... They left out a whole bunch. What talking about, like, the Windows tablets? The Windows tablets. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they don't, don't, I guess yeah. they're like, they don't count, you know. Oh, right. Windows doesn't count, you know. It's, oh, well. Well, they, I guess they figured it's that was like, too easy to uh, criticize. <laughs> You know, um, yeah, instead of criticizing, they, they they left it out. But see, here's the, the, the thing. Uh, in 1964, Rand actually had the first tablet. In 1964. Hmm. It wasn't a tablet as we think about it, but it was the, you know, the first concept. So you know, and I don't know if you like watch what I, I, I will put this, uh, the link in the chat. Give me a second. I put it in the, the lead up to the events, but I will put it in the chat here. Um, and you can actually click uh, and actually see the, you know, the slideshow. And if you go down, it's like the, the RAND tablet, which was uh, the Graphicon. Uh, for graphics converter was uh, one of the earliest tablet computers and it only sold for a measly eighteen thousand dollars wow that's all right <laughs> eighteen thousand for a tablet not bad not bad at all. yeah not bad. Mm -mm. I'd, have been, I'd have been on that i would have been on that <laughs> yeah eighteen thousand in 1964 for a tablet yeah. wow and that's, then, that's, and then that's like a couple of million that, dollars right yeah <laughs> yeah and then after that um Digital graphics, you know, DEC, uh, mm -hmm. basically um, had one, the, the DEC PDP-15, in 1972. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, after that, basically, in 79, Apple came out with the uh, Apple graphics tablet. I do oddly recall something like that that was around shortly. Yeah. I'm still waiting for you to get to the year I was born. I'm like, you're still not there. <laughs> not there. Keep going. But, yeah, but, yeah, <laughs> you're, you're making a point, though. You're making an interesting point is you would think that tablets are a new thing, but you're like, well, wait a minute. They were around before I was born. Right. Cool. Right. <laughs> you know? And uh, in, in 1989, you had the, uh, the grid pad. Now, and that actually yeah. was the first portable tablet PC, and it only cost a measly $2,370. Not bad. Not bad. And NCR, basically, we know it's kind of doesn't exist much in the U.S. now, but it's still around in the rest of the world, came out with the uh, system 3125 in uh, 1991. Mm. And um, it ran a, a pinpoint operating system, which uh, I imagine was some variation of DOS or something like that. And this, and other than Rand shocking me, this next one actually shocked me was the AT&T EO PC. I remember and that, that was in '93, and it was a combination pad telephone. It was a hack job, is what it was. 
But it's a fact, you know, but still. And, and then, of course, Corey, we're starting to get into, you know, for, for you Apple people, all of you remember the Newton in 93. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Newton was way ahead of its time. Way ahead of its time. Did not sell well, so like bricks, but. Yeah. And then you have the Zenith Cruise Pad in 95. Uh, if you did shoot, oh, how you had that, yeah, them. Uh, yeah, stylistic, uh, 2300 and 98. You had the compact tablet, which was the Windows tablet in 2001. You Crap. had the Microsoft Smart Display in 2002. Crap. <laughs> you had the Motion Computing LS 800 in 2005. Oh, no, that one. The Axiotron Modbook in 2007. I remember that. That was a hacked up Mac. But don't they, they still sell those? I mean, they still they sell those. They have Macs, Mac. We were talking about one <laughs> earlier. Um, you have the Apple iPad in 2010, hmm. the HP Slate in 2010. The Android tablet, roughly around the same time, you know, and that, that's when we start, in 2010s when we start getting into what we know as the modern tablets. Right. But the thing that fascinated me is the first tablet, the first thing as we think about as a tablet was around in 64 by RAN. Right. You know, back when you wouldn't even think of, you know, back when you're still thinking about computers and being as big as rooms, here are these people <laughs> trying to... And it wasn't very portable. I mean, the screen on it basically looked like a freaking oscilloscope. <coughs> you know, but that still, 1964 was technically what, back when some of the first tablets. I mean, who knew? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. And that's commercially available, by the way. Maybe. Yeah. Well, it wasn't really commercially available at that, you know, because you start talking about the prices, it's like, you know, who could afford that? <laughs> Yeah, you know, but the fact that it was around and it existed. Yeah. That long ago, before you were born, oh, yeah. as you so reminded me. <laughs> before before anybody thought about who you were, there was a tablet. Uh, I think yeah. so, one of the things is um, as we go into now about the tablet world, um, it's it's an odd, odd, odd world. Um, on one side of the fence, you have Android, uh, which there are literally, I think, over 200 or so different devices that would be considered an Android tablet. And then you have the lone king of the mountain, which is the iPad. Mm -hmm. um, and in my house, we actually, I haven't, this is the Android Nexus 7 here and we have the iPad 3 and I actually have which I'm going to introduce maybe a little bit later if, if one of my children allow me to get it out of their hands is the Enotab 2 which is uh, the new kids tablet um, that are pretty awesome. Hmm. Um, Excuse me, where is the playbook, the Blackberry playbook? Hello? And, and how would I get my hands on a BlackBerry playbook? They've only sold 150,000 of them. Where would I get one from? <laughs> I mean, I seriously. saw one um, a few You're days ago. You're still hanging on to your, your hopes of BlackBerry. Is that what it is, Shanice? <laughs> no. If you saw one, you should have taken a picture like, of it. And you noticed why everybody was like, didn't you leave out Windows? Didn't they skip over that? But nobody was like, oh, well, you left out BlackBerry. <laughs> well, you know what? That's BlackBerry's fault, OK? It is. If you saw one, you should have took a picture of it because I ain't seen it. <laughs> right. There ain't nowhere to be found. Okay. I saw I, one. I'm stuff. going on a scavenger hunt tomorrow. <laughs> you should call Blackberry and ask him where's the playbook because I don't know. <laughs> I bet you I can find a video of one someplace on YouTube. I, you, I think you probably could. <laughs> you probably could. Somebody should put an APB out for the playbook because I ain't seen it either. So, but I have played with one, and yeah, I understand why they haven't sold a whole lot of them. You know, the audacity of of Rim 
to sell the playbook with the additional feature of email. <laughs> email was an additional feature that you had to hook up this 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 playbook to your phone to get email. Well, it's it's like about the blue screen of death with Microsoft. You know that was a a a, 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 a functionality that has a new feature. It the crash and give you a blue screen. Yeah, we built that in on purpose. There's a feature, right? I mean, hey, you know, with marketing like that, no wonder they're doing so well. That's all I gotta say. So, mm -hmm. uh, by the way, Shanice, do you own a playbook? Yeah. Do I own a playbook? Yes. You own a playbook? Yes. No. Yes. You don't own a playbook? Mm -mm. Right. Did you no. own a Did you own a playbook? <laughs> He said, "Do I? No, I don't Did own a playbook. Own a playbook. Did you own a playbook at have any time? Have you ever owned? Yeah. No, I haven't. Why we? Why we gotta ask you this question? Like we, you know, like, like you on trial or something? You or have you that, ever? You, you all think that I have this this great love for BlackBerry? You do. I, well, it's like I you're cradling your own one. Blackberry. It's like yours is dead. You're still like, but if I hold on to it a little longer, it'll come back to life." Just a little bit. <laughs> you know what? It's like, you know, let me just lay it down. Here, yes. let me pray over it. Please, Let's do Brim Lula. I saw the video. I saw the video of, of uh, BlackBerry 10. Huh? And it huh? looks really good. <coughs> but here's the problem, Shanice. Right. Here's the problem. I'm going to tell you the problem with Brim <laughs> right now. Okay? Shooting for third. They can only show me a video of BlackBerry 10. Everybody else in the real world is selling real products. Mm. <laughs> I shouldn't have to see a video of what your device is going to look like, and you can't tell me when it's going to be released. That's a problem. But the thing is, what would I kind of I find it kind of surprising that their CEO came out and publicly said that they're shooting for for third place. I'll find that kind of. Who says uh, that? Right? Yeah, who who says, says I want to be third? Yeah. I want to be third. Who says that? The guys are, the, you know the guys what? In there, is that a sorry, Canadian thing? Defense, you a know, Canadian third place, thing, right? the, the people that come in third place are much happier than the ones that come in second in their defense. <laughs> <laughs> that must be a Canadian thing because, you know, in America, we don't, we don't say that. You know, I want to be third. You know? <laughs> I want to be lower management. You know, I want. To, I want to, I, it must be a Canadian thing. I don't know, but all right. We 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 did the BlackBerry thing. We got off on the BlackBerry tangent. Let's just act like Rim doesn't exist because they don't. You know, keep it moving. <laughs> it's not a whole lot to say there, right? All right. So, Shanice, you own an iPad. Um. You own what? Um, Audrey, what do you own? Mm. A Galaxy Tab. Okay. Now, you said a Galaxy what? Tab. Tab? Okay, I have the tablet. And the you Galaxy have a tablet. tablet, seven inch. The tablet, which is the note. And I right? have the tablet, yes, I have them both. Yes, I have them both. You know the 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 note. We have a new acronym for the note. It's called a BAP. It's a big ass phone. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it because you know what? Unlike y'all, they gotta pull out your phone. I'm a wireless headset, and I can just right. walk right down the street, not having to hold it to my ear because it's what? Right here. It's right there. Now what he, here's, here's an interesting question. Okay, mm -hmm. is the note is the note a tablet? What what's the cutoff line to be a tablet these days? The note is getting dangerously close. I have to say that. Yeah, I, I've seen somebody it, but you know what? hold up to their head. It it looks like they're holding a little mini a bit. tablet up to their head. You know what? You're so right. But because, like I said, I choose to go wireless with it with my wireless mm -hmm. headset. I um i don't worry I, I don't worry about it but in terms of the phone features i mean the tablet features yeah there's a lot of features on my tablet that i use on my note i actually 
Oh, the people I, I know a couple of people that have it that never that have never used the part with the stylus. I use my stylus. I write on it all the time. Mm -hmm. But when I put both of them together, yeah, they they look exactly alike. Well, because I chose the white phone, but and so you have you the know. seven inch. You have the seven inch tab. Mm -hmm. Is that the water? Is that the first generation or the second generation of this the, is the first? Okay. This is the first of this one. No. First, first or second? Big difference between first and second. I don't think they came out a white sec uh, second. No, this is the first yeah. one. It's the first generation of this one. First generation of this one. And I will be getting the next one. The second one of this one. You will, you will be getting the next one. Yeah. All right, All right. quick question. Mm -hmm. You know, the tab is one of those, those, those weird anomaly type devices. People loved it or hate it. You must be on yeah. the love side of it. I do. I do. Okay. So you, you like the tab. Yes, I do. I okay. am. I am on the love side of it. What current operating system is on your tab? I have the first generation, so it does not have. Uh, so you're not running ICS. I. Or is no. It honeycomb? But I, I, Are you honeycomb? I'm honeycomb. Uh, did that? No, 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 no. He would do. No, no, no. I think you're yeah. gingerbread, right? Uh -huh. Probably gingerbread. No, gingerbread? The, it came with it came with gingerbread, and I put uh, ICS on it. Oh, so you have put ICS on it. Mm -hmm. Did that upgrade come from? No. <laughs> no, it did not. Okay. <laughs> so that answers all of that. All right. So, so you're an Android uh, user. Have you ever tried an iPad? No. No. Okay. All right. I. You know what? Here's the thing. I like Apple products, but my problem with Apple is, you know, they lock out third-party vendors. We've had yeah, this discussion. We that did, I'm, 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 I'm that just saying. That, that, out there that yeah, we, we, we did this one. We, we did jailbreaking and rooting last week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. Exactly. 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 And see, and my thing is, I do, I have, you know, um, I'm, my next thing is I do plan on putting ICS on this one, on the, uh, the 7. Okay. I don't, no. but I don't. I won't go to the ten inch on it, huh? No, go ahead. No, I, I said I won't go to the ten inch on it. I don't like you, the you, the bigger ones are nice, prefer, but I like being able to prefer the seven inch. Yeah, because depending on what I'm doing, I change purses more than more than most women. I will wear a short person, I have a small purse day and a larger one the next day. This seven inch fits in all my purses, all but a clutch. And was, that is the prime. See, we we you know when we buy tablet that never comes into the list of <laughs> I don't, I don't the checklist of why. You know what? Of, you know, what? We, no, as but women, that's a okay. Reason, but here's the thing: as women, we all have our must-haves in our purse. Well, my phone right. and my tablet is a must-have. However, mm -hmm. just like even though they 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 show men, but even for women, this seven-inch will still fit in my pants pocket if I decide to stick it in my pocket. Okay. If I'm out and about, let's just be honest. But okay. I, I guess but I don't have it doesn't have the weight on it, which I like. Okay, the question I have for you though. You have a mm -hmm. tablet and a tablet. And you take them both uh -huh. with you wherever you go. Right. Now No, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay, I'm just No no I don't I don't take them everywhere. Okay. Because when I went to China, when I went to China I left the tablet at home. Okay. That was my whole reason for getting this to only have one to carry, right? But um, now that I'm back home, I may have picked this up once or twice, but I still like it. It's still in good shape. My kids use it more than I okay. do. Okay. My, I guess my question was going to be because you have two of almost the similar exact same product. I think the only difference really between the two of those is going to be your phone has a newer OS, right? And it makes mm -hmm. phone calls. But yes, and see, okay. And the but here's size. the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, here's the things. Two things. First, the iPhone and the iPad is pretty much like the same, kind of pretty much like this. Pretty much the same feature. Now, the thing with the tablet is there is a phone feature on here, but when it first came, if you buy them over here, the FCC does not allow the phone feature. If I had bought my tablet overseas, I would have a phone feature on here, which again would negate the need for the phone because I could just use a cordless headset. You can't even now, call I did you do find a, a VOIP? They don't allow VOIP? Well, well, wait a minute. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I can do VOIP on this because mm -hmm. I did at one point have um, I had another service that I could use this to make phone calls from. 
Right. I just don't feel the need that I should have to go through all of that. Right. But that's just the way the regulations are here. Gotcha. But if I buy my tablet overseas in Europe or China or whatever, it has a phone feature on there. It Only in the United States. Phone you have a line. To it overseas? Yes, yes. When it first okay. came out, I knew that. But I couldn't get, and I tried my hardest to get my hand on one coming out of Europe, but I could not. Okay. And the FCC does not allow it on a tablet here. Why, I don't know. I never could find a reason, I suspect, money wise, but, you know, it is what it is. But it has a built in phone. Alonzo, yes, sir. What are you rocking over there? Uh, I've got a Galaxy. I got a well, phone wise. I've got a Nexus, and then tablet wise, I've got a uh, original iPad and uh, a Galaxy Tab 10.1 first generation. First generation 10.1. Yeah. Okay. So you have actually used both, but you've used the first generation iPad, not the second or third. Or don't own the second or third, but you have the first generation iPad, and you have a Android <laughs> tablet, ten point one. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to you. <laughs> I, I got some questions for you. Let's get to Shanice over here. Shanice, right. you rock the iPad, right? I would assume, and and somewhere <laughs> in that house is a playbook. I'm sure, because obviously. <laughs> I, I do mean, not you have know, a black. You ain't got to admit it to us. Corey, I know you're Corey. Your meetings about it, but you ain't got to admit it to us. Right? Corey, yes. think about it. Her alter ego, her twin, has the playbook. That way she can get away from the Is that where it is? Yes. Yeah, yeah, her alter the ego has it. Right? Yeah. Well, that you know, sense. come on. <laughs> and what? No, I just alter have ego be making an appearance tonight? Will we get an appearance for Pyro tonight? That's what That's what that playbook is. <laughs> My iPad is out of commission. I have to take it back to the Geek Squad. I guess I'll take it back tomorrow. You said what? I'm sorry, what happened? She killed her Mac. Yeah, I meant to call you and what? tell you. She killed her Mac. What? What you I don't doing? Know. <laughs> Hold on, one day it was working, right? And what did one you day do? it wasn't. But, you know, I got my Geek Squad insurance. So I'm gonna take it back. Uh, to them it's so just the fact that the branch, it's just I'm the right. fact that I I I, would, I forgot to tell Corey and tell her that you validated me. You you killed your Mac because he's like <laughs> you can't kill him. You can't. They work and work and she I, killed it. I, I was like Corey. I wanted to call you and say Corey I, I, is is dead. She killed it. I ain't never said that. I ain't never said you can kill a Mac. I killed three of them myself. So I know they can be dead. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, believe me, I know. So I'm, I'm sorry. What happened? I gotta hear what 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 happened with yours though. No. I, I I have no idea. It's just it, I tried to turn it on and it clicked and nothing happened. Ooh, so you got I, I, yeah, I went to um, Best Buy and I asked them if they can retrieve my receipt and they said that they could. And I told them I'll be bringing my iMac back because it's broken and I wanted either fixed, which Probably won't happen, or I'll just get an upgrade. You have a bad board. A board went. Um, here, you know what? I, you know, I posted a while back on Facebook about the problems with IMAX. Mm -hmm. um, they are beautiful machines, they're uh, a definite feat of engineering, but there is a price. Mm -hmm. For stuffing all of that technology into a very thin screen, yep, um, with very limited airflow, yeah, okay. and they keep it quiet. Mm -hmm. There's a price to pay. You know, it is what it is. I say this to all Mac users: if you get a Mac, especially an iMac, you need to get Apple Care. You just yeah. you better do it. <laughs> you better do it. You know, it's that yeah. simple. So. But you are rocking an iPad over there, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And a playbook somewhere. We know you can't talk about it. You got meetings that you got to go to to get over that. But <laughs> we assume it's around somewhere, right? <laughs> Lee. Yo. What you rocking over there? What 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 tablet are you rocking over there? I got the Lenovo ThinkPad tablet. The Lenovo mm. ThinkPad tablet. That is an Android tablet, correct? It is. It is. And what flavor of OS are you rocking? Ice cream sandwich. Nice. <laughs> Put jelly bean on that yet? 
I officially can't answer that question. Oh, 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 oh I'm hurt. I'm hurt. It's not mine. It belongs, it's, it's not mine. It's not mine. It belongs to work. Ah, okay. I, I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay, so I can't, I can't deny, I can't uh, confirm or deny that there is or is not jelly bean or ice cream sandwich <laughs> on the tablet that may or may not be mine. <laughs> I'm gonna be a lawyer when I grow He's up. He's been watching the debates. I, I got you. I got you. He's been watching the debates. I yes. Got you. That, 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 uh, we, we, we won't we won't press the matter on that any further. Oh, by the so, way, I, 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 in all fairness, um, I did watch the first twenty minutes of the <clears throat> and then passed out. Let me explain. We decided to have a drinking game. We loaded up. We loaded shots on the table, and every time somebody told a lie, we took a shot. Twenty minutes later, we were all passed out. <laughs> Well, I mean, they they basically did that, and it speaks to kind of technology a little bit. Is they they did kind of the American Idol thing too. Of now, you can actually vote on their comments and give them a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So it's like mm -hmm. almost one of those reality I'll shows. All my technology with politics. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just not. You know what? Y'all almost put me in a hospital. Let me tell you. What's this, y'all? Political. Blah blah blah. Y'all didn't do anything. So, now I don't know who was there. I don't even know who was there. I was there. Who did that happen? Oh, did that happen? Okay. I was there. Oh, no. Basically, you was there. You were talking about politics. Was there. And then the next thing you know, my dear cousin, he's like got like a 200, you know, plus blood pressure, and he's in the my emergency. Blood pressure was 174. <laughs> what was this? Yesterday? Oh, I mean, last week. Wow. No, was it, it, was, it was the Monday following our Friday political. <laughs> <laughs> no, when did that discussion take place? I don't remember that. It was one. a couple it of was, months ago. It, it, it was, was about a month ago. About a month ago. About a month ago. You was there. No, that wasn't no, me. You was there. That wasn't me. You was there. <laughs> I felt some kicks and jabs from you. I felt. <laughs> <laughs> I felt some elbows from you. I felt that. I yeah. I do not recall I know that you conversation. Know you I, yeah. Okay, now look, wait, 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 wait. Audrey cannot confirm or deny that she was or was oh, not no, in the I hangout did. that did, did or did not happen the Monday after the possible political debate. I, I, exactly. I, I completely get it. I completely get it. All right. Yeah, she I was, was out. I was out of the country at the time. I know I wasn't there. <laughs> 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 you know what? You cannot confirm or deny the fact that you were out of the country. And they block access to outside the con country too. So how we don't you? know where you at right now. As a matter of fact, where are you? I am at home. I'm at home. And where was? See, how, how, what, what's the yeah, guy? You know, people okay. could argue. You know, like you, which you home? You did okay. show me. You okay. did show okay. me China. You showed okay, me China you. On Friday. You did. Okay, I showed you China. Hold up. You let me did show me China. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, see, wait a minute, there's my refrigerator. Uh, uh, there's uh, my kitchen. Uh, uh, okay. I mean, you could have moved that stuff to China. I'm just saying. <laughs> you could have no. moved those things to China. Oh, okay, see, hold up. Show me a kid. Show okay, hold up. Wait. Oh, okay. See? Oh. Wait, you see him back there? How y'all doing? See? Right. Thank okay. you. Show you a kid. I'm at home. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta show you a kid to prove you could have borrowed those kids. So I could have borrowed those. No, if I was maybe in Uganda, I can't borrow no black kids in China. Okay. <laughs> but um, oh my gosh. Mm -mm. So, but I tell you what though, if you ever running from the law, mm -hmm. do not get stuck in a Japanese airport. Okay. No, seriously, well, I, I was. Remember uh, that the next time I am running from the law and in Japan. I'm saying if you, no, I'm saying if you ever <laughs> want. Same time. Because, <laughs> no, because I I got stuck in the airport in Japan Japan overnight, and they do a serious like you know even though it's not a 24 hour airport if you overnight they'll let you stay. The police come by and they check passport and they take down all your vital information. The airport security come right behind them, do the exact same thing. And they got a list of most wanted or whatever, and they go down that list checking. So heads up. So how did you get here? That's the question. How did you? Get oh, here? I kind of. I, I, I can't see. tell that. She can't see. confirm or deny how, how she did or did not illegally or legally <laughs> enter the country. <laughs> and if I do, I might have to kill you. So you don't want to know. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> 
So we we have validated here. We have uh, one, two, three. So we have three Android tablet users. Yes. And then we have Shanice, and I actually go both ways. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. That's not good. <laughs> Does your wife know that, Corey? That is not good. Does? I don't know. I might have to reach in one. Lionel. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Did you hear what Corey said, though? Okay, so we have three Android users and Shanice over there. Anyway. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my man. Shanice is the whole category to herself. We have three Android users and Shanice, and I go both ways. That's the part that got me out there. <laughs> and my wife is in on it. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. You're going to do it. Make it a big old party. You know? Ooh, yeah. I'm See, I'm I, know. Right. I didn't know it was like that. This, this is, I didn't either. This is new tech right here. This is I don't know how many of you guys have seen this. This is the InnoTab 2. And this oh, is for Oh, you stepped up. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is for you know, these are for the little babies in your life, little kids. This is for ages two to nine. And it is a real tablet. Do not if a real tablet. this meeting together, Corey. Please don't oh. bring in with that. Go on, where yeah, let's have a meeting now. And then you pull that up and set oh, that on the table. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, it's serious. It's got the camera up here. Okay, but what kind of operating system? Um, it's some proprietary, you know, mishmash, you know, whatever, whatever. But you know. Um, well, you know what? But if you ever, if your child has ever played on an iPad or a real tablet, you can't get, get them nothing like that. Actually, yeah, they have, they have, and they still love these things. They really? love. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm just this, thinking. This is made by VTech. This is made by VTech. Okay. And, well, VTech, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, VTech is OG. I, yeah, I've had, some, I've, I've, I bought some yeah. VTech soft uh, stuff, go. technology for my kids, so they're good. But I'm just thinking. Yeah. I know when I was in the airport, I saw this little boy. His mom, he playing on, had mom's iPad the whole time. Till they got ready to board, she took it away, and he threw a temper tantrum. Well, and he couldn't been but three years old. And I'm like, you have got to be kidding. I'm but, gonna tell you, and this this is the weird thing right here. So we 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 have a we have a split household. So there's there's, <laughs> there's both devices in the household, and including the kids' tablets. So there's four tablets in the household right we have now. We have four. We have four Android users. Four Android users. He's got a Kindle Fire. So all right, hi. all right, all right, all right. Okay. Hey, how you doing, little Lee Jr.? All right. Okay. So, in split households, and I guess there's only so my man. He has two. He, you have two, right? Alonzo. Oh yeah. What, you have both. So the iPad first generation, though. You know, it's, it's a little long in the. You know, a little long in the tooth, we'll say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But my daughter gets it more. Which daughter, one do you prefer, and why? Which one do I prefer, and why? Uh, I would have to say, I mean, the iPad is the one I prefer, uh, just because there's uh, more, more things, more quality apps. For, uh, is it because it's more quality apps, or just because you don't have to think when you use it? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, hey, hey! I'm you just know, asking. You know what? Personal wait, file. Wait, wait. Personal file. I'm just asking. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, you know what? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Alonzo, be cool with me. I'm sorry, Alonzo. No, no, it's because you know. Uh -huh. When I thought about it, you know, I got, I had Corey forefront. I had that my, my, you know, my target on Corey. I'm throwing the flag. So, so uh, you, you were in the way, Alonzo. You were in the way. You got hit, but it was meant for Corey. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's collateral damage. We trying to have. Yeah, I'm collateral. We trying, we trying to have a quality conversation. I'm just trying to get some opinions here. You know? I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. I, I'll put myself in a penalty box, okay? <laughs> Time out, for real. Seriously. You got any corners in the house, you need to go find a corner. That wasn't right. <laughs> All right. That you was get not in the right. corner. I'm going to get in the corner. Hold Time on. out. Flag on the play. Penalty okay. clipping. Whoa. I'm in the corner. Okay, no. see? I'm in the corner. Right here. See it? I'm no. in the corner. Come on. Right. Let's, let's, can we just at least, come on, Android users, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm an Android user too. What Corey wants to say is, can't we all just get along? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
It didn't work out for him, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me redo that. What Corey wants to say is, ow, 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 can't we all just get along? Ow, ow, ow. Okay. I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, attacking a man because, you know, come on now, because of his device, because of his device, Audrey, come on. Shut up, apologize. What you want me to do, give some blood? I said, sorry. You know right. what? You know what? That's why you know it's meant for you, because you won't let it go. And the fact he still has the first version of iPads because he hasn't graduated to the second version. <laughs> see, 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 see. <laughs> I know. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I'm going to say this about you, Android user. You're nasty. You're nasty. You don't need to stop it. Come on now. <laughs> Another, another, okay, another Alonzo, I'm just messing with Come you. Come on, Alonzo. You know, Alonzo, you, you know. Go ahead, man. Go another, ahead. Another reason is that I don't use my Galaxy Tab 10.1 and <laughs> have Jelly Bean on it. And, well, I haven't put Jelly Bean on it. I think there's nightlies on there for it. But it just, from going Why from Jelly Bean back down to ICS, it's. Why haven't you rooted it yet, Alonzo? It's, it is rooted. I just haven't messed with it. We'll put gingerbread on it. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's two. That's two for me. Look, <laughs> look, you put me in a penalty box. Lead on the two. Come on, what you gonna do? I mean, you know what? <laughs> I mean, I have a feeling by the end of the night there just won't be nobody in these boxes. There <laughs> just won't be nobody here. <laughs> I see where this is going already. Hey, oh, God. Hey, you know what? You know what? You you're not part of the show. I'm gonna have to kick you out. Let, let, bring her on. Bring her on. Let her say something. She's got yeah, let, let, bring, let her come on and tell let tell her how bad on. the iPad is. Let let uh uh let her tell her tablet. Hold up. No, let her, let her, 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 her tell the truth. You know what he wants? He wants this. He came for this. That's what he wants. So so have him come on and tell us. So have him tell us why he wants that. Oh, you know Why what? Android is better? Why I Android gave, rules? I, I gave it to him. You won't hear nothing else from him. Close the door. I hear him. It's not facing the door. So, <laughs> I, I, I wanted to have this discussion because I knew there wasn't. Oh, oh, oh we got. <laughs> <laughs> we have the self penalty box, me and we both here. You know what, I, you, Audrey? You know, you, you need to. Yeah. I was already there. You got Alonzo. Alonzo basically is gone because his is like coming to the door. Yeah. Did George want to come no, in the conversation so, with Alonzo? So. No, yeah. she, it's it's bedtime. I gotta give her. I gotta go okay. for a nap. Mm. So for the for the split users or the dual users, so we we got one for for Apple over here. All right. So and and I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna bring a point around here too because you know. One of the things is, is when you have these discussions, uh oh. Yeah. Uh, Audrey, rightly placed. Rightly going rightly. all out. <laughs> no, nope, no. Nope. You, you can't have it both ways. Oh, flag Audrey. on the play on that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look, I did this. I served my time, okay? Nah, now nah, I'm being good. No, see? Okay. All right. So, so I'm, I'm going to bring it around to me because I'm a dual user. Right. I'm still serving my last two minutes. My penalty. Well, I'm a dual user. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to keep this professional, you know. But I, I, hmm. I understand we have some brick chuckers amongst us, and they're gonna throw bricks. So that's just what it is. So, but out of the two, the iPad three versus the Nexus Seven. Number one, I love the Nexus Seven. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. I am an Android phone user also, but as far as tablet goes, there is nothing touching the iPad 3 right now. I have no problem saying that as an owner of both. There is nothing touching it. Corey, of Period. course you don't have a problem with it. Period. See, and there's only, there, there's not too many of us in here qualified to say it because you don't have well, another one. Corey, nobody else is going both other. ways. Ain't nobody else qualified. You're right. But I, we have the other dual user over here, too, 
who validates what I just said. Now, you want to be in this discussion, yeah, Audrey? Can. You need to go out tomorrow to your local Best Buy, pick up an iPad 3, and then come back and talk to me. iPad, no. It ain't going to happen, right? You. Penalty over. No. Uh -huh. Penalty over. Thank, thank you, Lee. Tag team. Back in. All right. So Tag team. Thank there's, there's thank you. Other, there's nothing really enough to deny that, though. There's Let me ask Shanice, because I know she, she, she dibble dabbles in all of it. All right? Except the playbook. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Flag. Flags. <laughs> All flags. There will be no more mentioning of a non existent playbook <laughs> from here on out, okay? It, it doesn't exist. <coughs> and it's like talking about dinosaurs. I ain't seen one, okay? How do I know it existed? Android. Android. <laughs> yes, Android. thank you. Oh, make sure I have the right one. Android. <laughs> Android. I, well, I'm going to get to you. Lee. We'll get to you. <coughs> I already know what, what side you're on. You know, I already okay, know. I'm sorry. I already know. But th there you go. Thank you, Lee. So, Shanice, you have played with both operating systems, right? You've played with both sides of it. Um, I know I spoke to you about your, your, your kids. Some of them like to use Android <coughs> at school, and they want to develop for it. Um, you have, well, you don't have an Android phone, that's right. You, you have a Blackberry and an iPhone. You almost got to get DQ'd for that Blackberry. I'm, I'm, I'm saying almost. You like right there from being just DQ'd from the conversation. Because that's not <laughs> fair. On, yeah. That's not fair. Gina, she at least need to get some points taken away. I'm just, it's just, I don't know, you know. Come on now. She need to lose some points. Come on, be fair. You know what? You got on us. Five points taken away from that. Thank you. That's right. Now, whoa, 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 hang on. Flag on the play. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, wait a minute. I'm in a penalty box, but still. Audrey, Audrey, we brought it on ourselves. How's that? Because we we we're instigating the uh, the torment. Shanice just sitting there. She's minding her own business. Yeah, we instigated this. But see, I understand Shanice sitting there. I mean, you don't have, you can't argue when you got a playbook, and she don't want to admit to it. That's not our fault. I'm not You don't have a playbook. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your alter ego, who's not showing up tonight, has the playbook. But it don't matter. Y'all wanted the same. Y'all came together. You all. <laughs> I understand you don't want to claim it, but I think you have it. I don't. Thank I think you. Somewhere really close to you right now. <laughs> you know what? It's probably sitting right there on her lap, but she won't pull it up. Because <laughs> when everybody else was showing what they had, they tapped. She didn't put hers up. She yes, did I not. did. No, you didn't. So, oh. Both hands. What's another hand? So, <laughs> now you can't switch hands now. <laughs> and you can't and, drop it. And by the way, Shanice, what version are you rocking right now? Which, which, which iPad do you have? I had, that's the um, first generation, and then I have the iPad too. And I have the um, three coming. You have the three coming. Mm -hmm. okay. That's on so, order. All right. Why, 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 why the iPad? Why? Thank you. Um, I mean, can we answer this question? Can we get down to it tonight? Can we ask why, you know, what is it about that? You know, I have a... I have an idea. What I gave you the reason. Well, for me, Cole, you just mad. You got mad at me, but I gave you the reason no, earlier about why you went iPad. I, I, I tell didn't get you, you mad at you. That was violent, and and that was, was not it was, violent. It was violent. You know, it was like we was, having a, it was having, we was having a civil debate, and you brandished a weapon. <laughs> you brought a chair in the ring. You brought a knife. It just ain't no call for that. I'm just saying. Oh, Not when we on. first get into the debate. You, you just can't <laughs> whip your knife out and, you know, come hey, on now. You got to be ready at all times. I, I understand uh -uh. that. I know, see where you're coming from, and I do. I'm going to bring my knife next time. I see. <laughs> 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 all 
But so, um, the, 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 the does this feel like you could be in and out of the penalty box at the same time? <laughs> yep. Yep, she, there you go. She was threatening from the penalty box. She was still threatening folks in the penalty box. Hey. <laughs> oh, no, I just didn't see anybody else joining the Hangout with their iPad. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It can happen. It, it, Let's see what you got. Come on, show us what you, you got. Know, well, that's the problem. Uh, the well, well, that's, that's what the problem is. You know, somebody came and got it. Stop 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 what it is. So, okay. I'll, get back, I'll get back to you, Audrey. I'm going to get back to you. I have two reasons, but I have like three or four now. One, because of peer pressure. <laughs> oh, oh, See? Well, hey, peer, peer pressure. pressure. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Peer one. pressure, definitely. Wow. Um, two, because um, I was told that I can do certain things with it at school, and I like the things that I'm able to do. Um, Could you not do those things? Like a dangerous uh, statement. Now, like, wait a minute, because you can look at dirty websites on Android. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask. Can you well, not do that on Android? Programming yep. stuff like that. You can do that on Android. Yeah, I yeah. understand, but when you're using somebody else's money, you buy what that person wants you to have, and I'm cool with that. Because it was okay, somebody look, else's money. If you but here's the thing, Shanice. If you educated your Pimp, it wouldn't be no issues. He just oh, 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 Okay. <laughs> I love you, do. okay. Okay, fine. I take it. No. But in terms of the school system, seriously, most schools are Apple users. Yeah, and that's okay. True. That's and it's like trying to get them to move away from Apple products and see that there's other things out there. Okay. It's like, you know, really. Well, answer me. Answer me. This I'm, I'm, yeah. Answer me this. There's 200 or some odd Android tablets. What else should they be buying? You tell me which tablet in the Android family should they be buying? Now remember, you know we we like to standardize. You know when you okay. are told now, that you know, you standardization have to get don't like really hundred thousand of one product. You know what do you get? With, that and all of them on a different operating system. Which one should you buy? Galaxy. No. <laughs> well, no, I mean, this, this is a serious question. The no, one yeah, that, yeah. The one that works for your situation. Apple, Android, Blackberry, whatever. Well, well, yeah, well I'm saying, Lee. And I think, I'm I know, but no, but seriously, I think the reason, the, the reason, system, but yeah, the, the reason, system. but the school system, I think the reason is that, okay, that's what they started with, which is, I understand, but okay. it got it because Apple got in there early, so they're there and they're, they're there to stay. You you know, but when you got something, it may come out that gives that maybe hey a little better, and you oh. have to check. But the point is, they you know to not even consider anything else. I think oh, is a bit much. Well, let, let, hold on. <laughs> let's let's, let's mm -hmm. stay there for a second. Okay. All right. So you're the school system. Mm -hmm. You want to go Android? What are, what tablet are you buying? You gonna buy an Arcos? You gonna buy an Asus? Or you gonna buy one of the other two hundred various flavors? <laughs> Of devices that are out there, which one are you buying? You're going to buy the one based on your needs, and let me explain. All right, there's a couple of reasons that we went with the Lenovo ThinkPad tablet. All right, mm -hmm. here's one of them right here, full yeah. size USB. We yeah. had to have we had to have these so our service techs could download firmware straight from their tablet for different machines. And of the t of the uh, of the tablets we tried, one of them being Blackberry's twenty pound whatever it was, because that thing was heavy, mm -hmm. did not have a USB port on it. So instantly, that one was not an option. Well, to your to your point, if you're in the school system, and he here's a big here's a big part of it, seven hundred thousand apps on the Apple, over one hundred and fifty thousand educational apps. Why would they not go? With an iPad. Again, even though those, 
seven hundred, you're not using all of them. You ain't even using hundred fifty thousand apps. Over hundred fifty thousand educational apps yes. alone. Given if you are a developer right now, if you are a developer right now, and I can get a numerous amount of developers in here, if you mm -hmm. are developing for a mobile for a tablet or a mobile market. You're going Apple first. Yeah, so I why agree. Why would I, I get that tablet? No, I why agree. Why would I get that tablet? I agree. They do go Apple first. Yes. Well, all the money is there, and, and all, all the developers are not training. making no money. All of the training that we get, everything mm -hmm. that we use on the web, mm -hmm. there is an um, uh, app for the iPhone and the iPad not mm -hmm. available for Android. There are yes, there are a number of apps out there that are specific to either Apple or Android. Yeah. Now, for the when, ones that we use. When when I was getting prices on thirty five tablets for our service techs, mm -hmm. okay, I went ahead and got a price on Apple iPads, even though right off the bat they were not going to work for us, and the reason because is we have two uh, in-house Android apps that were developed by our, uh, by our uh, development team that are Android only. So Apple was not even a consideration You're because right. the apps we used, there, there wasn't, wasn't made for Apple. Mm -hmm. But I, I, of, the, of the vendors we used, I made a few phone calls, and I said, look, I need 35 Android tablets. Give me your best price. And the best price we got from one of our vendors was maybe 10% off our normal price. Mm. I called Apple. I called our Apple rep, and I said, dude, look. I said, I just need to get a price on 35 uh, iPads. He said, what do you want on them? And I told him. And they actually came out $100 cheaper. So... What I'm getting at is I, ha I noticed that when you want when you're buying quantity, Apple wants to want they want that sale. They want they mm. will work with you. They will you know what do we have to do to get that sale? And not only will we give you a good price on it, we're going to give you training. We're going to give you this. We're going to give you that. We're going to give you that. We're going to give you that. Yeah, if I was a school system, absolutely, we're going to go Apple. Mm -hmm. What's what 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 are the cons of not? I guess we, we, we see what the pros are. What are the cons against not going? Uh, I, I think the biggest the biggest con will be you don't have, you pro, you know your store even though it's being developed you don't have as many applications and nine times out of ten the application that if there is an app out there is not the first one that's developed. It's either going to come out at the same time as Apple's or it's going to come out after Apple. Port and we hate you know? ports, right? Yeah, so we, we hate ports. Yeah. So you know, what's the what's the cons of going with with that with Android price? I mean, well, what are the cons of not going? Um, you know, so we said why you would go with Apple. Why would you not? Mm -hmm. If you're the school system, or if you are a enterprise level companies, because the numbers on the enterprise size are are, are even bigger than in the regular world. Eighty percent of enterprises are not iPad houses. Eighty percent. Mm -hmm. That's a huge mm -hmm. number. That's a huge, well, ask. especially when there's only one iPad tablet. Oh, we'll say three. We'll say three because we'll say first generation, second generation, third generation, versus 200 different versions of Android tablets, and it's 80 percent one way against the. But then, okay, but then at that point, you is it really comes down to the difference between the hardware and the software because the. On on Apple, you have just that. But now, if I want to go Android, I may say, "Well, I may get a different Android, but we both can be running the same operating system, so to speak." You know. I'm, I'm you saying. Have... I'm, 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 I'm so, saying. I mean, I understand problem. what you're saying. I'm but... saying that's the problem. Yeah. I'm saying oh, so it's I... because that's too much choice. That's too many options. That's too much for me. Okay. Here's 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 the one of the biggest downsides to Android. All right, and you guys know I have been using Android since point eight beta. How many years ago was that? Um, long time. Uh, I, and I've been an Android user since the G one. A so lot I'm, of the apps I'm not that I have on my phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Four point four, ice cream sandwich. Four point three, ice cream sandwich. I've got apps on my tablet that won't run on my phone and vice versa. 
Mm-hmm. The app Ooh. market, the Go- I'm sorry, Ooh, I'm, I messed up, sorry. The oh, Google oh, Play oh. Store right. says this app for Android 2.2 and up. Both of my devices are 2.2 and up. It's the mm-hmm. hardware that's, cut, that's the problem. Mm-hmm. So well, there's your downside. There's your biggest downside. One of your biggest downsides yeah. to go on Android is what will work on your phone won't work on my phone. Will work on your tablet. Will not work on her tablet. Yeah. I mean, and that's weird because there's, there's really only two two hardware kind of versions out there. You got the Qualcomm side, and you have the Nvidia side, the Tegra threes and the Qualcomms. What's the problem? Dang I mean, that's seriously, that's what's the problem? They went up, right? They're not making chips anymore. Who? Oh. Uh, Texas Instruments. Yeah, yeah. yeah Ti's out of the game now. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, what 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 really is the issue? I I think the issue is really there are too many versions. Let's just say this: in November, we'll be seeing Android 4.2. Insert sweet licorice shitty name here, whatever they're gonna call it. Okay, now. I got one device that is on Jelly Bean. You're hosed. I mean, I'll, I'll probably get 4.2. <laughs> because it's, a, it's a Nexus 7. It's a Nexus. So I'll probably get 4.2, right? You won't get it. Well, wait a minute. Didn't we, we won't, <laughs> haven't, haven't we had this discussion? What did that Nexus tablet come with out of the box? Jelly Bean. Okay. Came with Jelly Bean out of the box. So that's yeah. 4.1. Yes. You'll, you'll probably see 4.2. I'll get it all because it's a and nexus, you might a see device. Four, you might see 4.2 point right. a, a update, 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 update. I, I might even get up to 4.3. I yeah. might. Yeah. It's a possibility because even the first generation Nexuses were able to upgrade to Jelly Bean, I believe, right? Yeah. Even the first the, generation uh, Nexus. Uh, nexus 1, you say? Yeah. Uh. I think the Nexus S was a... The Nexus S? Okay. Yeah. So maybe we'll say two... We'll, I, think two most of your, I think most of your devices see, see in their lifetime two major updates. Two major... No, updates. most Nexus's devices. Most of the Nexus devices. Yeah. Now, Very if you're a non-Nexus device, you don't know what you're going to see. <laughs> we talked about this earlier. Motorola announced today. They said all of their... You know, they had a whole list of phones that they were going to bring up to Jelly Bean, and now today they're saying, we're sorry, we're bringing none of them up to Jelly Bean, and in was that fact, Jelly we're going to get rid of that? some of these phones. That wasn't the, Was the Atrix in that list? The Atrix was in that also. They were going to get So that was Bean ICS now. then. That's ICS, they said. That's ICS. They were not even well, well, there. Well, the list was a combo list. Oh, it was, was it? A list of, of phones that hadn't even gotten ICS yet. Oh. That they were saying, okay, you are going to get updated to ICS. Yeah. Okay, and then there was a list of phones that they said that they were going to upgrade to Jelly Bean. Well, you're not going to get it. Now, this is Motorola quotes Google. This is Google owns Motorola. If they can't even update their own line of phones to the most current operating system, what makes you think if you're a third party that you're going to mm-hmm. ever get any of these updates? But most, what does that most, matter to you? Were, were most of those phones, I got a question, were most of those phones... Pre, the Google acquisition. I mean, the you know no. the no those, no. The, there's some very recent phones on there, like the Photon uh, 4G. The Photon 4G was on there. That's a pretty recent phone. Um, all of these phones, most of them were dual core processor phones. They're perfectly capable of running ICS and Jelly Bean. Right, right. So there's no reason why it can't happen from a right. technology standpoint. Links in chat for the uh, Motorola list of what will and what will not. And this is updated as of today? Uh, up t- uh, updated the first. Okay, the announcement was today. This is the only one I've come across. Yeah, the announcement was today. Um, I'll put a link to it because um, I do have it shared somewhere. Hmm. But, That's I mean, so if, if you're a Motorola cool. user... And we'll say this, you know, I don't know who all has what phones out there. We know you have uh, Samsung or whatever. Um, and you're rocking the Note, right? You have first-generation Notes, um, yeah. Audrey. Yeah. And what operating system are you running? Um, I have, what, what came on? Really, I have, uh, I have a Are you released on ICS? 
Uh, you know, I believe so. It should. It was supposed to be able to upgrade because I got it early before oh, I left, but really I haven't tried it. Great to ask this one, you haven't upgraded. So, do you care? Do, do, does any of this matter to you? As far as that, um, well, actually, yeah, because I did. I do want to upgrade it. I just haven't gotten around to it. And then, to be truthfully honest, when I was overseas, I just want to be careful what I did actually download for the simple reason is that. Everything comes through them, so if I download it, I would actually get the Chinese version of it, so to speak. Ooh, okay. So, like, even when you even when you hit Google, because I already use Google at home, right? It would always come up. Do you want to, you know, use the Chinese or I'm like, no, I always say with the original. Right. But when I download apps, there is a difference between the American apps and apps overseas. So, um, I got a, I had already had a laptop, for example, but I got a new one before I left. And I didn't get a chance to re-download Skype from what, not to say, oh, I'll just do it when I get there. Right. Well, I got there, and it's a whole different type of, different version. So my thing is, you know, before you leave the country, you need to download all your favorite apps that you want to use, or think you may even want to use, because some of them you won't even be able to get access to, and even with a, a VPN. And mm -hmm. then others, um... You're doing it, but you're doing it's because you're doing it through the Chinese version of Google or Chinese version of whatever right. operating system is. It changes the way you either use it, see it, configure all of that. If that makes sense. Okay. So I did. I didn't want to root it since I didn't root it before I left. I just say I'll leave it as it is. I do it when I get back because if I messed it up, then trying to get somebody over there to fix it. True fact, you got a lot of people over there that can jailbreak over there. Right. But it, the way they do it is completely different. Good example. Uh, if you took your Wii or one of your game systems over there and they jailbreaked it for you to use their games, that's mm -hmm. all good. But then you can never use your American games again. Right, right. So it's kind of the same way with your phone. So you want somebody who, if you're going to do it, if you're used to doing it, that's one thing. But if you're kind of trying to do it to see whatever, I want to make sure if I messed it up, well, I come back home, I got my husband back here that can fix it for me. I'll find somebody if, if he right. couldn't do it. Right. So, yeah. Quick question, um, Alonzo, just real quick. On your original version iPad, what what version are you able to get up to on uh, iOS? Five. So you, you're able to get all the way up to version five on the original yeah. iPad? Yes, I don't. I can't get six. Six is not compatible. So six, six, six they cut you off. Right. You're officially a, a, a stepchild now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, but consistently, every year since you've had your first generation iPad, you've been able to get an operating system update up yeah. until now. Yes. They carried you for three generations, basically, or three years. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. Right? Okay. <coughs> so, I mean... <clears throat> I think, and here's the thing, you know, like I said, I like to play devil the advocate, and I'm sitting here. I, I, I own several <laughs> Android products. I own way more Android products, actually, than I have Apple, Apple products. Mm -hmm. But I got to be honest, you know, if I'm, if I'm advising somebody to buy a tablet, number one, I advise them based upon what their usage is or how they're going to use it. But if somebody was to ask me what I thought was the best tablet out there on the market, I'm going to tell them the iPad 3 because I'm as a person that's used both sides, mm -hmm. it's the best. The, the retina display alone, alone, until you guys get that, it's night and day. Yeah, if so, if somebody, somebody comes to me and, you know, somebody even comes to me asking that question, you know, if they can't. Decide themselves. I automatically point them to the iPad. The iPad, because you know they'll be able to use it, right? Right. You know there'll be no problems. Right. Okay. Not require you to be For a most part. Okay, so let, so let me ask you. So you don't think the Android is user friendly, or is it not the Android but the the hardware? No, no, no. Android. The, the problem with Android is maturity. Period. Mm -hmm. It is. It is okay. still a a maturing operating system and a maturing yeah. platform. And it's okay, not so, occurring at the same rate that, okay, so, that Apple is. It's okay, so, so if I said, okay, well, Corey, I'm, um, 
for me. Okay. So if I said, well, I want to get the next uh, Galaxy Tab. Should I get the next one or should I go with uh, uh, iPad? If I didn't know, what would you? If I didn't know which which user you was, well, number one, no, I don't no, no, know. No, 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 no. I, I'm currently using this one. Okay. Right? Let's say I'm currently using this one, but I said, you know, I don't know. I'm thinking about the the Apple. What do you think? Would I should I stay with the tablet or go with the iPad? You would direct me toward the toward the uh, iPad. Well, it depends on if you 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 currently like what you have. Yeah, you like what you I like on. it. I like it, but I'm just I'm just trying. To, if you like what you want, but if you ask me where I thought the best one was, okay, and then yeah, okay, yeah, and then why? Why? Yeah. Okay. Um, here's what I'm gonna, here's what I'm gonna tell you. Number one, tablet usage comes down to applications. The mm -hmm. applications on the iOS platform are are levels beyond than the Android platform. It's just it mm -hmm. just is. It's a whole different polish feel. Everything over there is it's like HD versus SD. Thing you know, is, like, thing this is high about. definition. This is standard definition. Okay. It's a good yeah. thing, but this is run. This is better. In consideration, okay. it did come out earlier, so it should be exactly. You know, it should be well. Okay, yeah, about, yeah, okay, yeah, but I mean, okay, but uh, now if you're just talking about display and the crispness of it, okay, no, no, no. pass it's all of it. Okay, then what? It's okay, not, then what? I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying the display is obviously better. Yeah, okay, yeah, so it's pass. obviously better, but the applications are better. Mm -hmm. There's better developers over there than they are over here. Now I'll give you. I, okay, now don't give. I will give you and that. That's, yes. that's what it's I all about. I will give you that. It's Apple has some great developers. Yeah. It is about the applications. That once you're not not so enamored with your operating system anymore, then it's mm -hmm. about the usage. It's about the apps. Mm -hmm. Once you get over the love affair with the and here's the deal, I prefer the Android operating system over iOS. But as a platform, as a whole, mm -hmm. Apple's better as a whole. That's well, just my opinion. That's my okay. Opinion. Well, well, put it away. I'll put it like this to make it. But I'm, I'm a dude. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm a. I'm not saying I'm a hater because you know, at some point later this year, we are. We are. We will be getting app. Uh, uh, Apple. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Apple. Uh, Apple system or something. Only because my husband does developing. So. Mm -hmm. You know, but in terms of yeah, I do. I like the Android system. I just do, but I I will admit I do like that huge screen they got sit up there when you go in there. I forgot. I I like that one. I'm like I like that big screen because on my desk, you know, I I right now I run what two screens, mm -hmm. but I saw this one that um my ultimate nine. office. Yeah. yeah, but my my ultimate office I saw one that had like what four screens, but the way it was set up was awesome, but. That one big screen, that's kind of, that's cool. I, I give them that, but I got a question. Sure. Uh, and just what I guess as far as app development goes, what what uh what is the I guess the biggest app that is on Android? The most I guess the most popular what the most popular app that's on Android that is not available on iOS. Uh, I honestly what, can't. What? I, that's that's another thing. The Android, we don't. There's not the killer. I can't point to one killer app on Android that is not present on iOS. As a matter of fact, I can't point to any app that I would say this is a killer app and it's Android only. I don't know of one. I don't know of one. But there are several on the iOS side. You know, I don't. We don't, we don't really have one yet that you would say is a killer application. You know, over in that's a that's a big one. Yeah, there's usually there's usually. I mean, right now, all the big companies. <coughs> you can help me out with this if you know of one. I, no, I mean that's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm hard pressed to think of one. There, you, there's all these huge apps mm -hmm. uh, that are you know the popular apps are available for you know both Android or, or and, and I, you know, both on both systems, or they're just strictly on iOS. I don't right. know of any that are just strictly on Android OS that would make a new person in the game flock mm -hmm. over to Android. I can't recommend that to someone. Well, Lee, you know, um, Audrey, if, if you know, what, what's what's the killer app on the Android side? Please, I mean, if you think it's not available on iOS, 
that's not available on on app on just, iOS. Just give me a killer app on the Android system. Just any, any, just whatever. That this is the must-have app on Android, um, and we'll figure out if it's both sides or not. But I can't even think of one that I would say is a killer app on Android. Apps, as far as killer apps, I can't say there's any killer that I know, but you know about um I mean and I'm I'm, I'm not gonna like, like, seem like I'm dogging the Android. I mean I love yeah. Android as well but no, I'm a just, heavy I'm not. a heavy downloader. I mean I download just about everything and to be honest with you I have not yet run up against what we would what I would consider is that killer app right on the Android side. It, it, to me yet it doesn't yet exist. And I think that's part of the problem too because there are there are quite a few on the iOS side mm -hmm. that I can think of off the top of my head that are just killer. Now, we just got one um, that you guys had for a minute, and that was Flipboard. Oh. Flipboard on iOS was incredible. Oh. Now, we got it, and I'll be honest, you know, I was happy with the version that we got on Android, but the, the iOS version is still better. Real. It's still better. It, it's especially the tablet version, the one for you know for the iPad. It, it's it, there, there's no it's it's a difference there. I don't know why they made it different or whatever, but the iOS version is still better. I think that's just me personally. Mm -hmm. I have both versions. Now everybody looking it up. What is what, what, <laughs> well, I know what Flipboard what's for what's you. I've, I've got it on my. Yeah. Uh, I had it on my tab. Um. Well, you know, I, I like had it on my phone actually. I, had it on my I, phone. I like news apps, and one of the, I mean, when I first got the iPad three, that was one of the the apps on that Retina display that just blew me away. I mean, seriously, I thought it was number one. I thought it was incredible development the way they made it. So, you know, it's an interactive magazine of your life, basically. Right, right. Changes minute by minute. Mm -hmm. the, the concept of it alone is incredible, but the way they put it. The way it kind of comes to life on that iPad is, is kind of crazy. Right. Um, and a lot of that is the retina display. Anything at that resolution just looks beautiful. Um, and it's just not the same appeal over the Android side. I'm sorry, it's just not. Um, and I love it on the Nexus 7. The Nexus 7 has a beautiful screen. Uh, it's a quad core. The Nexus 7 is a feat of engineering. I mean, you got a 7-inch tablet quad core plus a fifth companion core for just regulating your battery life right. and low end processes like music and you know video and stuff like that 12 GPUs I mean from a specs standpoint from a geek standpoint I mean it's like that's a beast of a machine yeah. you put jelly bean on top of that which is buttery smooth you got an incredible operating system have, have you, do you have, do you have a uh, free Jelly Bean uh, device? Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, as well? Yeah, I mean, man, I got... that just night and day, man? It is. It is just it is. night and day. It's hard to go back to it. It's it. hard to go back after you go Jelly Bean. It really is. Um, I mean, even my yeah. wife noticed, you know, it's, it's weird because she picked up, just the other day, she picked up the um, the Nexus 7, and she, she flipped the screen. She's like, whoa. <laughs> you know, it's like, she's like, I got to work to flip the screen on my iPad. This thing, you know, it just flips real easy. I was like, that's that butter. She has butter. <laughs> <laughs> butter. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's another, that's another, I think I said it earlier, but that's another read. That's one, that's one of the reasons why I don't use my, you know, Galaxy Tab 10.1 because it's not, I don't have Jelly Bean on it. Jelly Bean like, it is very hard after you have upgraded to Jelly Bean. Now, I have a problem on my phone because I have had to downgrade back to ICS on my phone. We have Jelly Bean versions out there, but there are um, the alpha versions, uh -huh. and there are some serious glitches with certain applications. And this is a tough one on the phone. It's, it's volume control issues. You can't hear anybody, and they can't hear you. Yeah. That's a problem on the phone. You know, so I mean, as much as I love Jelly Bean, I can't have it on my phone because it won't be a phone anymore. It'll be a small tablet. I, I won't be able to use it to to talk to anybody. 
Um, but I love Jelly Bean. I, I mean, as an operating system, I think it's probably the best. It is probably the most advanced OS on the mobile platform right now. So, Audrey, I give you that. Mm -hmm. And I'm an OS lover. I'm a lover of OSs. I really do. I, I appreciate a great OS. Android is primarily a great OS. Yes. Do it. It really oh. is. It's, it's a great OS, and it's a great platform. Mm -hmm. But I still have to say right now, Apple is a better overall platform. Just on the mobile side, on the tablet side. Well, anyway, we ain't talking about computers, because obviously I feel that way on the computer side. <laughs> but, you know, mobile, I, I just, it, it falls a little bit short, and who knows? You know, the, the, the thing about Android is the rapid development process. It, you know, we may be having a different conversation um, maybe a few months down the road, but the whole problem is we probably will be having a different conversation, but none of us on the panel will all be on the same operating system. That's uh, always be a problem on Android. You're all getting a different experience. That's a problem. That's a serious problem when everybody gets a different experience. Yeah. They need well, to get some standardization <clears throat> with Android. I'm just saying. Oh, I think OEMs need to stick to making hardware <coughs> and let Google run the show. That's what I think. They I think just, the OEMs are the problem, honestly. I really yeah. do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think they need to just stick to hardware and let the you know, the Android let I guess Google take Android where they want it to be. Instead of putting all these skins and things but like that. Google, so you, you don't think iPad users are getting different experiences? No. Why? Because it's it's the same operating system all the way across the board. Well, but if I but if I we'll if say, I got my hands on an iPad and mm -hmm. you got your hands on an iPad mm -hmm. and then we decided to do a head to head what we liked and what we didn't like, we're gonna have night and day reviews because what 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 interests you and what you like. But well, we're not we're not talking about the customization that the, the the what the what the people do. You know what I do as an end user. We're talking about the experience that you get from the factory. To your hand, my experience is different from yours. If you if you don't have Jelly Bean, you don't get what I get. If you got ICS, you got a different experience. If you got Gingerbread, you have a different experience. Uh, right now, I have a different experience though. <laughs> On my iPad, as far as that, because I don't have iOS. 6, well, but... you have a different. You have been cut off. Right. right. Uh, well, this... that means your maps work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Sorry, penalty box. Hang on. No, you can't even get penalty on that one. That's no, right. no, I mean, no, fact no. You know what? I will. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't play the hype game. Before I do that, Audrey, I don't what, play the hype game. Audrey, what was it? You you were there was a, a monitor, a size monitor you were you were interested in a while ago. Was that? Audrey was talking about she liked something about the Mac or something because of the big monitor, the big screen. Or yeah, so yeah. So he's gonna show you a 27-inch Dell, and, and it's not the same. It's you know. <laughs> or, <laughs> I know. I I remember you know. that before. Yeah. Na, 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 na. <laughs> well, you know, hey, I go down to the room and you throw up the 50-inch. So what's the difference? But hey, if I had to, if it was my money, I'd have bought one too. But it wouldn't mind. So hey. Okay. <laughs> No, I'll, I'll I'll take the penalty box. Now, Mr. Spearman, you've been you've been very quiet tonight. You know, yeah, you want to talk been. about these standards. I mean, what you, what you what you got, man? What's 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 going on over there? Let me ask you a question as someone right now who doesn't own either one at this point in time. If yeah. you're going out today to buy one, what would you buy and why? What would I buy? I'd probably buy a, a, a Nexus 7, simply because it'd be easy for me to port the stuff that I already work with over to it, you know, to, to basically uh, reinstall the, the apps as well as, in some cases, get improved tablet versions versus um, the iPad. And I know everybody likes the iPad and uh, the retinal displays, and that's wonderful and cool and that kind of stuff, yet... Most of the stuff that I use works is actually in the in the Android ecosystem, not in the iOS ecosystem. Although I could probably find equivalents over there, but why? You know, it's one of those things of you know change. 
Yeah, so, I want to. so even if, and, and here's a question that I, I always throw back at people when I say this, and I, and I don't mean no disrespect when I throw this out here, but, you know, I respect you guys' opinion because you, you are a select group of individuals that are very, you have a very high technology IQ, right? So why wouldn't you, you, why wouldn't you listen to a dual user? A dual, when somebody is a dual user, they use both, they own both products, and they tell you this product is superior to this product. Why would you? That's you, Archie. <laughs> well, here you go. He back. He didn't run off. All right. I think he back anyway. So All right, Lionel Corey's up here running his mouth now. Said that question scared you so bad you had to run away. Man, don't let him get cut off. Don't let the man cut him off again. He still ain't back yet. It, it, okay, right. there you go. Okay, here you go. question. Y'all right. remember, no. remember when he was talking? He he knew too much. The man cut him off. <laughs> y'all remember that? <laughs> oh, I, and and I believe me, I understand the whole ecosystem thing. You know, I was the one that pushed you an X. You was a former BlackBerry user. I didn't push you to iOS. I said, go try an Android phone, right? And then I was the one, right? Said, get an Android phone. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. No sound. No sound. No sound. You can't hear you. And this is the same reason I've been trying to tell you to get off Windows. I'm not on Windows. <laughs> this isn't Windows. Uh, okay, you on Linux, which is an OS 10 knockoff. Get off of that too. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, when I when I basically bounced it, I had to go back and turn the, and tell it which mic to use. Uh, that's, so, yeah. I, no, I love See, you. now, if you had an Apple product, you wouldn't have to do that. You, I, I never do. I never do. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, and we, we've interviewed people. I'm sorry. We've interviewed people that basically are sitting there going, how doing? So don't even try that one on me. So, I, I um, but well, Those are people that just don't know what they're doing. That's yeah. the you can't help that. They belong. There, there's people like that in every genre of everything, you know. I just don't know what I'm doing. Uh, period. If, if I if I ended up with the uh, the freaking um, iOS, I'd still end up I, I'd end up having to uh, you know jailbreak it. So yeah, you know, ultimately because I'd end up probably wanting to sideload stuff that's not in their app store. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, they were jailbreaking iPhone before Android was invented. So what's the difference? <laughs> I mean. It's, we, there's, there's more experience over there at the jailbreaking side and, because and see, there, there is one thing even when I got mine and, and, and that the difference between you and I is you basically were like I don't need a keyboard I abandon it this kind of stuff no big deal I can live without it and this is a difference in you and I I, I want my keyboard you want your keyboard you don't want my hardware keyboard, keyboard back again I'm used to, and the I reality is without errors it, with my keyboard Okay, but the reality is, moving forward in life, that keyboard is going bye bye. I mean, that's less that's and less, true. less and less phones are being made with tactile keyboards with physical keyboards. So, in the next, let's just say this: I'm gonna, I'm gonna just throw it out here. Five years from now, there will be no phone out with a physical keyboard on it. You know it, I know it. It's just what it is. Yeah, and by you then, know? hopefully, I'll, I'll I'll have my I'll have my pad phone to where I can just turn it into a tablet and still have my keyboard. No, future wise, they're going to have that that special exactly. screen that pr exactly. produces physical play. keyboards are dying. And, 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 and what I'll do come that time is I'll take a freaking Bluetooth keyboard and sync oh, it to you, my. Oh, you just going to be one of them dudes, right? Yeah. You just you 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 are the buggy dude when the car was driving down the street going <laughs> a fan. Them cars is a fan. I'm, a, I'm I like horses. I'm no, stick to I want horse. my keyboard. That's not even a fan. I want my or, keyboard. I'll use a new technology and then I'll hook my keyboard to it and go, okay, this is great. You know, I'm gonna tell you something. There's a there's dudes like you every generation. You know, every 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 generation. There's that dude. 
No. <laughs> there, there was a dude when they when they went from you know carving on stone to writing with pens. There was people going, nah, I ain't going over to the pen, the felt pen. I'm not. I'm not doing that. You know, there was the dudes when we brought the cars out that said, hey, you know, horse and buggies is gonna always be the way we're gonna travel. That's the, you know, but, that, but that's not, are but that's not a proper analogy. That's not a proper analogy. A proper analogy for what I'm doing is, the hey, there is a car, you know, I can buy a car, and if I want to buy a car that still has a manual stick in it, I can still get it. It's still a car. It oh, is a uh, so you know, you what? know why the you know why the man with the horse and buggy upgraded to the car? Cause he got tired of following the horse's ass. <laughs> he didn't have a choice. It's just what it is. But the the analogy was the person that was out selling the horse and buggy and selling you on the fact that the horse and but that the car is a fad. The car is it ain't it ain't gonna last. You know, this is the same thing they said about computers when computers came out. It's, it's weird in a group of technologists that we still have people that really still have this thing about really fighting technology. There is no fighting technology. The keyboard is dead. It's been declared dead. It's just dying a slow death. It's gone. You, no matter how much you want to hold on to it, it's dead. I'm uh, see. I'm not fighting technology. I'm saying this is my preference. I'm embracing I'm, I'm, technology. I understand you. I understand what you're saying. But it's dead, and you gonna have to let it go eventually. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, no, no, to as long as they have Bluetooth, I never have to let it go. Okay, okay. Ooh. But I'm, I'm saying even this, and you know it like I know it. Physical keyboards, just like this, ten years from now, fifteen years from now, they won't be this. There will not be a physical button actually, nowhere to be seen. Actually, Corey. Mm -hmm. I have to di I have to disagree. You can disagree with me, but no. Let me explain. Let me explain. You can let's do play. it. But Corey, let me, so let, me, let, me, let me Hold on, hold on, hold on, Audrey. Before no, you, listen. Before you go there, let me ask you this: You don't think in the evolution? All yours, Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> let, me, let me just ask you this. Corey, let me hold on. Hold on, Corey. We, didn't, I, we couldn't call. hear anything. Corey, he oh. cut you off. We couldn't hear you. Hold on. Oh, let me just ask you this, ahead. Audrey. Corey. Can I ask you one question? Sure. Let me ask you one question. In the evolution of things, do you think the tactile physical keyboard is going to hang around? That's the only question. Now yes. go go ahead, go ahead. Thank you. The reason why, okay, you saying in the next twenty years it won't be ten twenty years. It may be not for you, but for some people there will be. Okay, so it's not. I don't think it's going to go away completely in ten, fifteen, twenty years. It's going to go. It's going to go away, but it's going to go slowly. Reason why I'm saying that again. I'm coming back from China. All mm -hmm. right, things that we did. When we were teenagers, mm -hmm. that we don't even think about it anymore. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like that's what they do now. Okay, they are trying to get, remember China's just not opening up where they're letting other people come in, so they are way behind. Mm -hmm. And I do mean they are way behind on a lot of things. So I don't think I would. I that's why I said no. I don't think it's gonna be completely gone. Now, had I not gone, there, I might say yeah. I, I probably would agree with you. Let but me ask you a in terms of everywhere else, no. Okay. Yeah. Just just a quick question, and Shanice, you can you can even please chime in on this one. Okay, four years ago, what phone was you rocking? Just just take me back four years ago. Oh, four the cell phone. Ago. Yeah. What phone were you rocking? Four years ago, uh, an H HTC. I okay. HTC. Did it have a keyboard on it? Yeah, actually, it did. Okay. What phone so, are you rocking now? And does it have a keyboard on it? Right no, now, you know, the right now, note, right? Yeah. Where's, your, where's your keyboard, Audrey? Oh, let me show. Let me get. Let me pull it out for you. Where's, where's your keyboard on that <laughs> Galaxy Note? <laughs> that was just four years ago. No, I know, but let me. Okay, that but I just. But that's here. That's here. Okay. Okay. We're, we're dealing. We're dealing with. We're, we're dealing with the U.S. There's, because because you know, I don't ain't, ain't going to go to China just right so you can a keyboard. Right there. He's gonna go to China so he can not, 
So we're gonna deal with the US, right? Yeah, give me that that gray HTC phone that you had. Yes. There's the keyboard right there. Right. Thank you. Virtual. You didn't say physical or virtual. Yes, I did. You I've been keyboard. talking about no Lee. You said, no, you about, said keyboard. You no, said, I've been talking about physical keyboards keyboard. the whole time. Physical keyboards. Yeah, you did. the whole you time. I know we know that, but we just said what you said. Um, um the point I was trying to make uh, to my man. Mr. Spearman over here okay. is he's holding he's saying basically he don't want to go one side or the other side because of the keyboard issue. The problem is is the keyboard None. issue is not going to be an issue in about three to five years at all. So None. you're going to convert whether you want to or not to a virtual keyboard. Somewhere uh, down the line. Have to ever convert to a unless you're going to hold on to this old technology. <laughs> Uh, I don't have to hold on to my old technology to keep my keyboard. I can okay. just basically okay. sync a keyboard to it. That's you, my point. You, uh, mm -hmm. Seriously, you gonna do that? Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Just, just so you can be that dude that just, yeah. that's just, you just want to be an anomaly in the crowd, right? Yes. Is that what you're doing? That what you're going yes. for? Yes. You want to be difficult, right? Yes. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, Even hold on, hold on, time out, time out, hold time on. out, time out. No, Corey, you act like you making it sound like this is something brand new. That is the definition of Lionel Spearman. Seriously. When it comes to I terminal, mean, I'd rather be on a hardware keyboard. I mean, you sitting here talking about you, you want to be you the anomaly. What? You want to be the difficult one. I'm sorry. Who uh, are you talking to? You, you forgot asked, who you were talking you to? You know what, Audrey? I read you right. You you got me there. You, you got me. <laughs> he, he is an anomaly. I got that. Thank you. Come on now. Hey. I got him to get rid of that BlackBerry though, so it, yeah. It's, but it wasn't overnight, was it? No, it wasn't. All right it, then. It wasn't. All right it wasn't. then. But it was fast enough. I actually thought it was gonna be. Still. You know. Okay. Still. Penalty. Still. <clears throat> penalty yeah. box rant coming on. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but seriously though, even even Ram, even Ram, the king of tactile physical keyboards, have gotten <laughs> rid of their physical keyboard. But did, did you did you see what um, what my boy Alonzo actually posted the video that he posted in the chat? Looking at it now, let's see. That that's the future there. For that's... years, people believed that the world was flipped. They were wrong. For years, people believed that the touchscreens were only flipped. They. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's actually kind of cool. Welcome to the new world. dynamic. Welcome to the real world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, I've had one of those keys. Those are like the roll-up keyboards. <laughs> The, the portable ones. I've had one. Of, I've had a few. They of them. Sell, yeah. I, I, yeah. I they sell those now. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know. But, I mean, the thing is, it's just being able to. I think the biggest deal is being able to type. To fill it. Fill something without having to, you know, pay Do attention. Do you like the haptic feedback? Hold on, hold on. I, on your phone. Do I? All Android users, you you guys like the haptic feedback feature? You like I would it? rather have I would rather have that tactus keyboard. I do I not like. Have, I don't have to have the keyboard, but you know. I do not like the vibrate. That's not. I mean, that's not touching anything. Cause I still have to look right. The, the, the haptic is is not the same as the resistance that a tactile gives you. Right. Right. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying. You emulated. Like. Not even close. You like haptic feedback. What do you feel about it? No, I do not like it. I don't like it either. It feels like a cheap vibrator. <laughs> How would you know oh, what a cheap hey, vibrator feels like? I mean, hey, well, you know. You hey, well, well, that's not, yeah, you know, that's not that's what else you want to do. Basically, we're saying he goes both ways, so I can say that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you right. You right. You know, hey, well, what you're saying, though, there's some. Something we need to talk about after the show? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> in order, in no. order for Lionel to know what a cheap one feels like, he's going to have to know what an expensive one feels like. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> well, y'all done, done, done ran Shanice out the room again. Y'all done ran Shanice away again. See? Well, hey, let, last again, week... Man, see? Uh, oh, and Alonzo left, too. <laughs> <laughs> 
Last week, Shanice and I ran Lee off after a while. Oh, my goodness. I, I was having technical difficulties. I was still sober. Always technical. Uh, huh? We understand, but you I mean, still, we were we had, we still had sober. <laughs> I was still sober, yeah. <laughs> now, I, I'm going to ask a question. I, I'm, I, I've, I've never owned an iPad. Um, Why? So I don't know, but Why? is there a, is there a USB port on an iPad? No. Okay, no, no need for one. USB port, but they have no. the the same port that's used to charge it. Um, also, is used to dock it. No need for one. Why is that, Audrey? There's no need for no, one. No, no, no. I'm saying there's no need no, for an no, iPad. No, no, Corey, USB Corey, be, what I'm be technically correct. The same so why? port to charge it is also the port that you take. It has a, a, a USB adapter on it that you can plug it in and use it as USB. That's the same, <laughs> the well, same port. What are we talking about? I, 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 know, I think I know where Lee is going with this. Okay. No, you don't. You, you have no idea. Up. Well, I mean, obviously, if you if we if we're asking about USB ports, you're not asking about USB port to charge. You're asking about it because you want to hook up external devices. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Of some sort. Eh, possibly. Okay. I mean, there's only two functions for USB port on something like this. One is to charge it, and one is to hook up an external device. What is what other function would you need to do it with a USB port? For data. Oh, that's it. The third. Do what? Okay, transfer. Well, to transfer okay. data, you'd be hooking up an external device. Right. Yeah. So, you're, I mean, that, that, right. you're hooking that up an external device. Charging charging and, data. And right. External device, so. Right. So, here's what I'm going to tell you. Um, the, and this is an Apple experience thing, you know, and I understand it ain't everybody don't think this way, but Apple is a very forward thinking company, and it's like there's no reason to hook up an external device to a tablet when everything can be transferred wirelessly. They don't believe in wires, really. If it, if it, if it wasn't for the fact they couldn't, that wireless charging is too expensive or induction charging was too you wouldn't even have a port down there. If it wasn't for that, you wouldn't really have a port down there. I don't know, or, in order I, to dock. I don't know if I agree or disagree with that because they actually do use – now, they've gotten away from it, but you still actually stick your, um, you know, your iPad to your um, iTunes for your playlist and that you can do it through the cloud right now, but even necessarily with the cloud, sometimes it's still faster to actually hook it in and plug it into the USB port of your computer and do it that way. And you can still load stuff on it that way. You can, but why? See, because that's really the question. Can you do it? Can you load and use it as a storage you, device? You yes. Can. You can, but why? I mean, seriously, in in seriously, in a situation like this, why would you hook a tablet up to a computer? A tablet is a computer. Here's the thing. They're trying to get away from making it a a device that is dependent on another device. So why would you in that situation, want to continue to hook up a device to that device when you don't have to. You don't have to do it. Now, if you want to, you can, but you don't have to. But see, that's more of the point, I think. If you want to, you can. It's not that you can't. You still can. You can, but you don't have to. But here's the thing. You know and I know also, as, as we get down the line here, Everything is moving to wires. <coughs> we hate wires. I hate wires. I don't know anybody who doesn't hate wires. So why are we still trying to push it's still basically, Well, now they've, they've gotten to it now, but beforehand you were running into some limitations. What's that? And I, they, you were running into some limitations with uh, the with you know Wi-Fi and that kind of stuff, and uh, because the. Transferring it via Wi-Fi, especially when you even had G before you got into the MIMO, you know, the multiple antennas, is the speed was still a lot slower. I'm going I'm to I'm tell you, I'm going I'm to I'm say this. I don't mean to offend anybody. This is That's a Windows mind state. Mac, Mac, users have been, Mac users have been going towards wireless and, le and going away from... Uh, those type of device hookups for a long time. Even though we have USB ports on the back, most of us use FireWire, you know, and we use FireWire. To, honestly, it was a it was it was a fast it was a faster that, connection. You are doing a, you you right. did it and you're using it to transfer the data, but that was a that was a limitation with uh, 
Wi-Fi in that before. <laughs> that was a, right. That was that limitation at that point in time. But now, where you have the speeds that we have over the internet, you know, I don't know. I don't talk. I don't talk USB because actually USB is not even the best. The best connection out there. The best connection will be Thunderbolt if you're going to be hooking things up, and that's the port that is on the available right now on the iPhone 5, and probably going to be on the next version of iOS. It's going to be Thunderbolt. So, no, to answer your question, there is no USB port, and there's never going to be on a on an iPad. Thunderbolt. Yeah, that's a... He's saying that, and that's actually incorrect. The adapter for it that lets you uh, charge also lets you do it. You're making it as a definitive statement, and it's not. It is a definitive statement, Diamond. I mean, I mean uh, Lionel. There is no oh, USB. Oh, my name's Diamond now. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> there is no Your name USB is port. Damn it, Lionel. There's no USB uh, port uh, on the iPad, uh, and it's not going to be. All right, my, my, my new name's that. I'm only answering it to damn it, Lionel, now. <laughs> my bad. I, it, come on, like, I got a lot of stuff going on around me, but. Uh, no, but, no, no. What you, about you the statement that you found not true, though? Damn it, Lionel. My bad. But what about the statement that you found not true? <laughs> it's a true statement. There is no USB port on the iPad. There has never been one, and there's not going to be one. Yeah, but the port actually that you use to charge it is such that you char you take it and the adapter that you plug it into has a USB port on it that you use to charge it that you can also plug it into your computer. The other end yes. of it is a USB. That is correct. But the dock mm -hmm. and the port itself is not USB. And it is a proprietary cable. It is actually, the newest version of it is actually Thunderbolt. I just, put a, I just put a link to it in the chat. Thunderbolt. Well, that, so you say that the newest connector is using Thunderbolt instead of it's using yeah. it's using Thunderbolt technology, not USB. Yeah, it shows um, it has what eight eight simultaneously um, stream seven twenty p streams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but so, but I would have so how can you use Thunderbolt over USB? Then? That's just it. I don't think well, you can. Thunderbolt actually. Now here's the crazy thing about Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is actually more akin to Ethernet than it is to like USB. Right. It um it is. Thank you. Um the speed of Thunderbolt is like I think it's like five times faster than USB 3.0, number one. Yeah. Um it's like ten megabits per second. So per second per second squared. Is it? Per second per second squared? Yeah, it's in the gigabit. It's in the gigabits. In gigabit for this. I'm not. I'm not looking at the, the. I'm just going off my head. That's what uh, I said. Uh, I, 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 uh, I, said I just put. I just put the Thunderbolt uh, link on there. Um, yeah, I know for, what Thunderbolt is, but they're using. They're not. They're using Thunderbolt technology. The lightning connector. Yeah, the lightning connector is actually Thunderbolt. Yes, it's a version of Thunderbolt that they have created specifically for the iPhone. Oh. Okay. Well, folks, I'm, I'm going to stop the public broadcast so we can keep going offline. Um, and for those that want to come and hang out next week, we're actually going to be talking about clouds, you know, which is ironic that we kind of are almost ending the public part, you know, on this. And, you know, since my new name, thank you to Corey, is damn it, Lionel. Yes. <laughs> which, you know, was part of what he was referring to, but that's going to be our topic for next week. And, uh, I hope you join us for what you uh, uh, usually ends up being when everybody's here, very lively discussion. <laughs>